morning. Did you all see the video? Oh, I'm so excited to be here. I'm really nervous today. I think Kat's making me more nervous and Elliot counting me down. But I must say, I've been so excited to tell everybody. And um, yes, I am having a baby, which is really exciting. Also very nerve wracking. Um, but I've been really excited to tell everybody here. And um, yeah, thank you all for your lovely messages. Do you know, there's been quite a few messages of, of people over the last few weeks coming through to the studio who everybody's been very polite and not rude but almost suggesting have you had too many mince pies um but no oh, well i have i can confirm it is probably too many mince pies as well as a child in there but um no it's very very exciting so thank you all so much for uh, for joining me today so our team behind the scenes um, have been amazing putting with, up with me for the last six months of mood swings. Uh, Kat was saying, you've been a dream, you've been lovely, but um, uh, yeah, it's been incredible. So the team, as I say, have, have let me have an amazing show to enjoy and as I said, spread the joy with you. So if you just saw the video, we're doing free PMP all day long. All you need to do is use the code Vicky PP at checkout. Vicky with an I, V-I-C-K-I, PP, if you want to make the most of free posting and packaging all day. That's till midnight tonight on the web shop, on the, on the show. And what a show we've got on Yarn Lane as well, you get free PMP. And what a show we've got. I mean, straight away, you can see, Oh, we have had so many people already messaging on Facebook about these. And I must say, I'm ever so sorry, Mark Francis isn't here singing carols with me as much as I'd really, really like that. And I have said to Mark, we need to do this. Obviously, once the restrictions sort of lift and we're allowed, we'd love to be able to do some carols together again. So, um, yes, yeah, stay, keep your eyes peeled for those as well. But... Delphine is here and I couldn't imagine a, a more perfect person to share this show with um, because not only is she an incredible designer, we absolutely love it, but also she's one of my lovely friends. So yeah, she's designed some amazing brand new cushions for us as you can see. They're already selling on pre-order. They are already selling on pre-order. The instructions are there on their own as well. The instructions are there on their own. So do make the most of that. I'll show you how you get those in a minute. Now I also, had a bit of a chat with Hayley and the team behind the scenes and um, Kat has been really, really excited about this show and she was saying, right, we need to do a really, really special early bird. It's a really exciting announcement, a really exciting day and we do want to make sure that we do an epic early bird. So, are you ready? Because... Da, 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 da. We have to do like a big grand reveal on this as well. Um, it is the mini iron. It's the first time I've ever even seen this because John Scott has done it twice and it's completely sold out in both showings. $26.99 and free PMP. It isn't on the graphics. Free postage. Oh, no, no, no. I tell you why. Because you need to use the code. So the reason it doesn't say free PMP on the code is because uh, on the graphic says because you need to use the code Vicky PP, V-I-C-K-I-P-P, -P, and you get free postage and packaging on this. It launched on Black Friday, hundreds sold out. Then when Hayley was producing last Saturday, again, hundreds went. So fingers crossed, we've got enough in stock to, to meet the demand because I know how many people want it. It is the mini steam iron and already loads of you have checked out. Use the code Vicky PP, you can see there. Uh, so let's open it up and have a look for anybody who's missed it. Um, John absolutely loves it because we know how much we love the Prim Mini Iron, but it's $39.99. I've got the Prim Mini Iron. I absolutely love it and you'll always hear me rave on about it. This comes in a really lovely hard case, so perfect for travelling around. <laughs> Kat loves the fact that it also has the little handle, the little strap that comes with it as well. I think she wants to take it as a clutch bag around or something. So then inside, look, 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 look. It's got your little um, jug for your water. It's got a really lovely hard case. And then your beautiful mini iron. Now for quilters, for dressmakers, for bag makers, for toy makers, pressing is, of course, essential, absolutely essential. It's almost as important as your, your sewing machine. You've got the little feet at the bottom. You've got the really lovely extra long, which is a lovely cord. Those of you that know me know that my Room 101 Pet Hate is short cords on what I'm calling travel irons. 
This isn't a travel iron. This is, uh, it really packs a punch. Even though it's a, small, a smaller iron, it's still gonna pack a punch. It is a steam iron as well. So you've got your steam on and steam off button. You've got all of your temperature gauge. You've got your watermark. You've got the light as well. You've got the hook here so that when you're, you, you, uh, you wanna tidy it away, you can keep your cord nice and neat. Uh, perfect for your cable, 26 pound 99. And just to remind everybody, we're offering free postage and packaging today. Free PMP. All you need to do is add the code Vicky PP. Oh gosh, that's a lovely face, isn't it? Eh, Mid sentence. Vicky PP. Do make the most of it. Oh, thank you. Who's that? Sorry. Hi Vanessa. Thank you for your message. Hi Julie. Oh, congratulations, Vix. What wonderful news. Oh, I'm going to get really emotional today, aren't I? Thank you, David. Congratulations on your great news. 50th wedding anniversary today. Congratulations. Mary, huge congratulations to you both. Um, uh, sending you love. 50 years. Oh my word, that's amazing. Round of applause, 50 years. Thank you ever so much. I haven't even, um, I haven't even started to look at the Facebook Live. Um, thank you all so much for all of your messages. I will have a really good, lovely read through all of those as well. How do I see it? I've, I've definitely got them on the... Um, Kat's gonna have... I'm so such a technophobe. I'm really bad at this and it hasn't all come up. But you have got the most incredible early bird special today on one of the most, uh, well, this is one of the most talked about products that we launched on Black Friday and we haven't been able to, uh, to, we haven't been able to even have it on the show. It's still at that incredible special price, 26 99 I know that John Scott did a bit of a, a discount, obviously, for uh, Black Friday, but today, because you're getting free postage and packaging, once again, you've got the incredible deal. Now, it only takes 15 seconds to heat up. It's got the anti-slip sole plate. It's got a lovely uh, handle for if you struggle with dexterity. It's really nice and ergonomic. Uh, it's got your temperature gauge. It's got your steam on and off button but it's all about grabbing it today whilst you can. We had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these um, in stock and already loads have gone. Uh, thank you ever so much, Anne. She says, congratulations, it's the best news. Stephanie, honestly, do you know, I've been so excited to tell you all and um, I I've been thinking, I need all of your tips. Anybody that's been to this, I need your tips. Um, I'm ever so nervous and uh, yeah, I need all your tips. Did you have any strange cravings or anything? Because I've actually, I've been really lucky. I haven't had any weird cravings. Although yeah, I did about, it was probably about three months in that I got a bit addicted to eating limes. Is that a thing? Anybody else? I think it's the, um, the citrus. Apparently it's this, the, the citrus, the vitamin C, but I was like eating them like an apple. Uh, so yeah, that's the only, that's the only strange thing. 26.99, I don't think it's strange actually. I was like, I don't, I haven't had any cravings while I'm eating limes like my five a day. Um, <laughs> anyway, 26.99. Remember, the only other mini iron that we have is the prim one, which I always bang on about. I absolutely love it. It's 39.99, so this is an absolute steal. Whether you're opening your, if you're opening your seams or if you're getting into those real nooks and crannies when you're, when you're doing a plique project like the one today, you know, irons like this are ideal. And it means nobody's gonna come up to you with a shirt and say, I need this ironing, I need this ironing. You're like, I'm not ironing, I'm pressing. If you're on the move, if you, if you, um, you know, fingers crossed, when we can go to classes and workshops, when I first started my quilting and, uh, uh, quilting and patchwork classes, there was a communal iron. Whereas nowadays with the world that, uh, the way it is, it's good to be able to have your own iron and to set up your station. So you've got your sewing machine, you've got your iron, you've got your cutting mat. Um, 26.99, Elliot's saying, do you know what? It's such a relief now. He's been doing some really, um, um, how do I say it? He's been doing some very, um, <laughs> he's been really, mm, he's been, He's been very nice about my belly, actually. He's, he keeps um, trying to give me very forgiving shots on the camera. And he's like, oh, do you know what now? He's like, do you know what now? I don't care. Everyone can see now. It's free for all. 
Oh, thank you, everyone. Carol said congratulations. Vicky, Stephanie, Margaret. Honestly, I've had so many messages. Thank you. Elaine's messaged in. Oh, thank you. And must say, Kieran as well. Um, my husband, he he's he will be so excited to um, to read all the messages as well. I'm really excited to show him. So thank you. He sends his love to everybody. Uh, can I show you how long this cable is, by the way? And it's not a little. You know, sometimes when travel lines in hotel rooms, they always are renowned for having a little kettle, a little kettle, uh, a little kettle lead, and a little ironing lead. You end up doing it all in the corner. Whereas this has got a really lovely long cord, um, and it's it's not like a little travel flimsy one either. This is perfect to be able to have, as I say, one, if you're going on your holidays or if you're going away, I know that Hayley is saying this is the one that she's going to be using, um, using on her holidays as well. It's ideal, isn't it? 26 99 and it's mighty. As I said, it's small but mighty. We knew that we wanted to do a really special early bird, so Hayley actually sent a big email. She also called me and audio noted me. Saying, Vic, do you understand how amazing this early bird is? Um, John Scott has hogged it. He's done two auctions, both times completely sold out, both times he's bought it to air. Um, and so therefore the team has said, right, let's get hundreds and hundreds of these in to make sure everybody can get it. Um, ready for all of your projects in 2021. And trust me, the projects that we have got lined up, I've just been sitting talking to Delphine. Obviously, she's constantly designing. She was like, what do you think to this? What do you think to this? What do you think to this? You've got some amazing projects coming your way in the new year as well, as well as today. Doesn't everybody love these? Jerry the giraffe is coming up today at nine o'clock. Um, now, just be aware, it is very, 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 very busy, which is so lovely. Thank you all so much for your company. Don't forget, free postage and packaging because it works, the, the, the code VickyPP works across the whole of the website. Um, it works across the whole of the website. It works on the telephone. If you speak to the customer service team as well, let them know the item, the, uh, the promo code. If you are watching Yarn Lane later um, on the website, on Yarn Lane's website, in fact, all day on Yarn Lane's website, you can get the free postage and packaging as well. Vicky is spelt V-I-C-K-I. P-P. V-I-C-K-I. I don't know why P-P. P-P. Hi, Elizabeth. Can I say, Elizabeth, she says, congratulations, Princess Hung Hungry Tummy. Also, good morning to you and the team. What a way to start the show. Love, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, thank you. It's hilarious because I, obviously you message me a lot about my hungry tummy whilst it's like grumbling, moving around everything. I'm like, I'm really hungry in the morning now, really hungry. So that's hilarious that all of a sudden we keep obviously getting all these messages about food and talking about food. And um, yeah, I thought, oh, Elizabeth knows. Elizabeth knows. Although I'm, I did say, I did see Jill's post on the, the, um, on the Facebook fan page. And I thought, oh, gosh, is it that obvious? Or is it all the mince pies I've been eating? Anyway, thank you all so much for your company. Stay exactly where you are today because we've got loads, loads and loads coming up. Remember, it comes in the hard case. It's with free postage and packaging. I will keep you updated on stock levels as loads of you are multi-buying on it, which is such a brilliant way to get involved. Only one PMP, no, free PMP. Not one PMP, free PMP. Today's show though is definitely one to stick around for. Um, the team have put together the most amazing show for me. So have a look at what's coming up. As I say, Delphine Brooks is in the house. She's got the incredible Jerry the Giraffe cushion at nine o'clock. This first hour though, we're talking all pre-cut bundles. Kat's put together some brand new bundles for us. And it looks very sort of uh, pastel, I should say. Kat's been very secretive about all of the uh, the show today and she's put together some beautiful bundles, uh, especially for today. So that's this morning, eight o'clock, nine o'clock. Pre-orders are already open and selling really, really quickly. If you do want Jerry the Giraffe the cushion, then start checking out now, if I were you. Also, the pattern is available on its own. Pattern available on its own as well. Plus, stash builders, um, stash builders at 10 o'clock. Now, because we're doing free postage and packaging, this is now the perfect day to be doing a stash builder. Free PMP, things like buttons, ribbons, 
toy fillings, waddings, things that are on the website but we don't really get chance to bring to air. And if I'm being brutally honest, you might not just come in and buy buttons ordinarily because you've got a 3 95 uh, postage charge normally. Today, because it's free, and especially with you know the, the, the year that we've had and everything that's going on at the moment and we don't know what things are gonna be like in January, Delphine and I were saying it's just a really good idea to stock up on bits and bobs like that ready for your January makes. So that's perfect. That's coming up at 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock, Delphine is gonna be back and we have got Fairy Dusk Jelly Roll Makes. So those of you that have got beautiful jelly rolls, um, I mean, we've got some amazing, amazing kits coming up and beautiful jelly rolls coming up. So lots of inspiration at 11 o'clock. And then at 12 o'clock, we've got Yarn Lane, Woolly Chic, Helen. I've not met Helen before. I've seen her in the office and I've heard how lovely she is. So I'm really, really excited for baby knits. Catherine, um, the other day, she was like, right, we're getting you into knitting. Gotta get knitting, gotta get knitting, you'll love it. So um, yeah, this is probably gonna make me really inspired, isn't it? I'm really excited for that show at 12 o'clock with Yarn Lane. So, thank you for all your messages. If you do wanna get in touch with us this morning, um, there is, of course, quite a few ways of getting involved in the interactive show. You can email the studio, studio at sewingstreets.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. You can also head over to our Facebook page, which is Sewing Street TV. Now I've got the Facebook Live open. If I'm being brutally honest, I can't, I can't keep up. I can't keep up with all your messages. Sue said, <laughs> Sue said that she knew. Sue said, there were two people presenting Sewing Street today. Can I tell you the funniest response I've had? When I told John Scott, John said he already knew and that Paula had told him. And I said, who's Paula? I don't know a Paula. And he said, yeah, Paula's told me, I already know. Been waiting for you to tell me. And um, it's his psychic. And he'd been to a psychic and they told him that I was pregnant. How, how strange is that? But John was just like flippantly, oh yeah, yeah, I already knew Vic, I already knew. I was like, of course you, I was really ready. John has been literally like my, um, my showbiz dad. He's literally been amazing. Oh, my granddad, yeah, he's watching, isn't he? My granddad. Um, he's literally been amazing over the last 10 years since I was literally 19, he's been amazing. And um, I'm not gonna get emotional, but yeah, I expected a few tears. I thought I'd get like a really emotional chat from him, but no, it was, Paula's told me, oh, do you know, I was waiting for you to tell me. I can't believe it's taken this long for you to tell me was actually the answer. But anyway, right, where shall we go? Shall we start with this bundle? These are beautiful rainbows. Um, now you're getting half a metre of each, half a metre of each of your fabrics. And as I say, Kat has put together some beautiful, beautiful bundles for me. Uh, this is called Off to Dreamland, nine pounds, 99 pence. How gorgeous is that? Elliot, we're not in sync yet, are we? We'll, um, we'll, we'll wake up in a moment. We've both, honestly, I woke up at four o'clock this morning and was literally wide awake. So I've been awake, just excited for today's show since 4 a.m. Yeah, I've been up for four hours, so sorry if I am a bit too um, too excitable. Um, just nine pounds and 99 pence. Sorry, I'm just looking at all the lovely messages, thank you. So half a meter of your pink and half a meter of your blue. And I must say, yes, because I don't know if I'm having a girl or a boy. So um, yeah, it's nice to be able to see all of the, um, all of the beautiful pastel fabrics, but this is so beautiful, isn't it? Half a metre of your quilting weight cotton with free postage and packaging today using the code VickyPP, nine pounds and 99 pence. Hi, Geraldine. Geraldine said she knew as well. Oh, thank you. She says, congratulations, what a wonderful mum you'll make. I have been, I've been singing already. I keep telling Kieran, stop singing because they're gonna get into bad habits early. So just let me sing. So um, yeah, I will be singing all the time. The picture on the website, by the way, is of the bright, um, the bright giraffe colorway. It's called Brights if you do want to pre-order that. Already, 
going crazy on pre-order. Loads of you have got it on pre-order. The blue, half a metre of this as well. You're getting a lot of metre for 9 99 aren't you? You're getting a lot of fabric. Bearing in mind, normally designer fabric, we're normally looking at over seven pounds. We're over allocated on this. Remember, use the code VickyPP to get free postage and packaging. I know I'm going to sound like a broken record saying that, but I want to make sure that everybody benefits from free P and P. And thank you ever so much to the management and Haley for allowing me to to do a free P and P day. Shall we do the pastel pastel bundle? Purple, blue, pink, green. I haven't seen the message on Heather. No, hang on. <laughs> Was this on the Facebook page? I can't keep, honestly, I can't see your messages, Heather, but um, yeah, Heather's, um... <laughs> John said the same. Very rude, very rude of you. <laughs> it's a good job I am, isn't it? Because otherwise you'd all feel really guilty right now for just saying, yeah, we thought so. We thought you'd just put on a few pounds. <laughs> Right, you've got two and a half metres with a saving of two pounds and free postage and packaging. How good is that? Why are you getting a saving of two pounds on this? I don't know. Done it for you. Make the most of it. Um, Elaine um, and everybody who's been asking, a lot of people say, when are you due? April, April. So, um, yeah, I'm six months now, which is quite a long time, isn't it? It's, it's, I must say, though, I've been very, very lucky. Touch wood. I thought the sickness was going to start this morning when I was really, really, um, I was really nervous. I thought, gosh, can morning sickness start now? I've actually really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, I've been very, very lucky that I've been OK. I haven't had any horrible symptoms, I don't think, have I? My mood swings haven't been too bad. Just very moody, just very. I have been lucky that I've had Kat and Elliot with me over the last couple of months in my bubble and they've been really, really lovely. So Elliot won't even let me do the vacuuming in the morning. He's like, no, nope, can't let you do, do it. Lift a finger. So Wilma, the picture is of the rainbow giraffe. The picture is of um, the rainbow giraffe. So the floral one has flowers on it. I'll show you. There you go. Floral run. Oh no, that's the cave one. The bright one is the one on the left. That's the rainbow. So that's called rainbow. What's the other one called? There's floral, rainbow. And that was one that was made from stash. If you've got any cave stash. So if you want to get the, uh, if you want to get the pattern on its own, Delphine will be demoing in the floral colorway. Um, We'll show you all, we'll go through everything at nine o'clock really thoroughly, don't worry. We'll make sure that every, it's very clear. But I know a lot of people, I did put it on the, uh, I did see on the Facebook page yesterday, a lot of people were like, right, I'm setting my alarm. That will definitely sell out. I'm going to get it at eight o'clock. Especially now, you didn't know we had free p and either, did you? So you've got two and a half metres of your lovely pastels colourway. They're like lovely sorbets. Hmm? Um, 15 pounds and 45 pence with a two pound saving and free postage and packaging. Let's do the stars. Elliot thinks I'm having a boy called William. <laughs> You've noticed it's October, Sharon. <laughs> Loads of people are messaging saying, I knew six weeks ago. Did your psychic tell you as well? Did Paula tell you as well? I probably, uh, maybe, um, I've, if I'm being honest, it was Kat. She was like, no, we need to get this time. We need to do like a brilliant show. We need to make sure we secure free posting packaging. We need to make sure this. So it's been in the pipeline. It was probably a good few weeks ago that I thought, do you know what? I'm, I need to tell everybody now. And Kat was like, no, we need to make, you know, we need to make a big thing of this and do free p, &P. They've all been, I must say, I've had some lovely messages that haven't, speculating and um i haven't been offended at all um but yeah there's a lot of people who have been saying um is there any chance i, I don't want to be rude or anything everyone's been really nice <laughs> but have you been eating too many mince pies through lockdown yes i have i have they keep bringing mince pies into the office we've been eating mince pies since when cat was it about september ages ago 
Um, so this one, your stars bundle, two meters. Now this is your poplin weight cotton. So it's a slightly lighter weight. It's gonna be beautiful for quilting, lovely for, um, really, really lovely for, for lots of different projects. You've got your blue and pink, you've got your gray and, and yellow. In fact, the Pantone color of the year is gray and yellow. Pantone colour of the year 2021, this is going to be the, uh, the colours that are very, very in vogue, very, very on trend. £14.99, half a metre of each, of each fabric. Now, let me remind you what half a metre looks like because it's quite deceiving when you see it all folded up. But you get loads of fabric. It's amazing, isn't it? Just £14.99. Oh, who's this messaging, sorry? Beverly. Beverly has asked about the elephant, the L of the elephant from Duffy. Um, just you wait. Um, just you wait until Christmas Eve. That's all I'm going to say. Just wait till Christmas Eve. I've got two lovely shows left before Christmas today and Christmas Eve, and they're both with Delphi, and I feel very, very lucky. Absolutely love her. Um, so, and then our Boxing Day show is brilliant as well, isn't it? And we've decided we're going to be in our pyjamas. If you want to join us on Boxing Day in your pyjamas, then please do, please do. We've got some deals, Boxing Day deals. Has everybody sent in their, their video, by the way, for the Christmas? Um, please do send in any videos. I'm going to do mine today. Uh, send in a video. It can be a photograph and text. It can be a, a selfie video, a voice message, whatever you want to do. If you want to say Merry Christmas to a loved one or whether you want to say Merry Christmas to, to us here at Sewing Street, we're going to play all your friends on the fan page maybe. Um, then we're going to play out all of the Christmas messages on Christmas Day. So this is the email address that you need to send them to. But just everybody who's watching right now, just sending. It can be five seconds long, 10 seconds long, 30 seconds long, however long you want. You can just send in a little video and it will be played on Christmas Day. Have you done yours, Elliot, in your gold hot pants yet? I think that'll be a treat, won't it? Um, hi, Dillis. Dillis has got an idea. Why are you not telling me? Is Delphine in there? Delphine, are you still in there? Oh, Delphine's been sitting in the, uh, the gallery the whole time. Uh, right, Tilda Plum Garden. Oh, these are lovely. Oh, I, can, I love your theme. Thank you for your theme, Kat. This is lovely. Just so you know, no, thank you. Jerry the giraffe is absolutely flying out already. It is gonna be epic at uh, nine o'clock. Whatever you do, do not miss it. You're getting half a metre of each of your Tilda Plum Garden. Now this is quilting weight cotton and it's so beautiful. You know when you're getting Tilda, of course you're getting that top, 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 top quality. Um, just so you know, you're getting free postage and packaging. Um, it is very, very, very busy, very busy. Half the stock of the instructions on their own have gone of the Jerry the Giraffe. So if you do want it, be quick to check out. We had hundreds of those, didn't we? Oh, Judith, thank you for your message. She says, congratulations to you and Kieran. And you spelt his name right, Judith. That's, that never happens. Even Kieran's family don't spell his name right. Oh, thank you. Judith's lovely. I haven't seen Judith for ages. She used to come and watch me sing at the Owl. She's lovely. Uh, yeah. I can't see any of these messages. It just keeps showing me. I'm scrolling all the way down to the bottom. Thank you for all your messages. I'm going to reload it. Um, right, so your Tilda Plum Garden range. This is one of the only, uh, these are the, some of the only fabrics we've got left by the half metre, actually. Oh, we love them, love them, love them. Oh yeah, I've got your messages. Heather, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, Leanne says, congratulations, Vicky. Uh, exciting and busy times ahead for you. She said, Could, because I, I, I think, Leanne, I, I need messages like this because I'm a bit in denial. Hey, we've talked about me, you know, obviously going off to uh, have a baby. And Kat's presuming like I'm just gonna, you know, have the baby here. And yeah, and then, 
like literally have the baby here on air. And then, um, yeah, Kat says she can deal with babysitting. It's absolutely fine. Like, so yeah, I think I'm a bit in denial about it. Lisa and Terry as well. I must say, Lisa texted me last night saying, good luck today. I'm like, everyone's making me really nervous. Oh, thank you, Elizabeth. Let's do the yellows on their own. The yellows, I must say, I do love these beautiful bright yellows. If you want to do some lovely daffodil projects ready for springtime, you know when we take the Christmas decorations down and everywhere looks bare, it's always nice to just add a little bit of uh, add, add a bit of colour into into your rooms. These are beautiful colours. You've got your beautiful spot, which is your poplin weight. Um, it's absolutely fine to still mix it with your with your quilting weight cottons. Um, just just so you're aware, it's a slightly lighter weight cotton. I've had a message from Susie Duncan. Oh, she's so lovely. Morning, Vicky and all. Amazing news. Congratulations to you and Kieran. Oh, thank you. She says, the iron is fabulous. She says, I use it for all of my sewing. Um, by the way, the iron as the early bird special today is epic. It's the best early bird I've ever done. Um, you're getting free postage and packaging on it as well. It's already at the most incredible price point. And yeah, to say that you're getting the free PMP, it's a great chance to try it out. We've cheated it a bit because John did tell you it's going up in price and it has gone up in price, um, but we've given you free PMP, so we're kind of cheating a little bit. Uh, use the code VickyPP for free postage and packaging all day long today, and that's across the website, across Yarn Lane, across everywhere. Um, right, so the yellows, 13 pounds and 99 pence, half a metre of each of your shades of yellow. Um, we've also got blues. I do love these shades of blue. Is this, um, hang on, what colour is this? I don't think I've seen this one. We've had quite a few new sort of colours coming into the, uh, the stock late, lately. Um, is it chambray? I've not seen chambray for ages. Chambray, copen and slate. They are absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Nicola said, uh, wonderful news. Uh, she says, I knew too, though. I watched a few weeks ago and knew. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Liz. Liz, I must say, thank you, because you always send in such lovely messages. And um, Kat always forwards them to me. It, Kat always sends them to me on my emails. And it, it's so lovely to have your, I, I keep saying, send it to Hayley. Send that message to, to the management, please. That's a lovely message. So no, thank you, Liz. Thank you. Oh, honestly, it's too much, isn't it? It's too much. This is why I've been really nervous about say, like make, saying it on air because it makes it very real, doesn't it? Oh. Nine pounds and 99 pence for your blissful blues. Whenever Kat does blue bundles, they are always very, 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 very popular indeed. Free postage and packaging on a blue metre and a half fabric bundle. Hi, Georgina. Georgina got the new Juki. OMG, uh, Vicky, how wonderful, a baby in the new year. I feel I'm making baby clothes on my new Juki sewing machine coming on, yes! Oh, I love that, yes please. I love the name, that, uh, I love that you've now taken the name Juki Georgina. So you know we have like Gary Juki, you're now known as Juki Georgina, okay? How exciting. Oh, Buffer. Oh, another mini Vix. Can you handle it, Buffer? Oh, Amy! Love you, Amy. Thank you for your message. And love to Harrison. Is everybody all ready for Christmas, by the way? We're a week away from Christmas. I'm getting slightly concerned how underprepared I am for this. Um, yeah, it's last Christmas as a two as well. And it's actually really nice. Me and Kieran are just having Christmas on our own this year. I'm going to go and um, pop some prezzies over to my mum on Christmas Eve. But we just said, look, we're best to stay safe this year. And I know that um, lots of people haven't seen their families for, for, for a long time. So we've just got to get through this Christmas, haven't we? And then fingers crossed, by April, by spring, we can all have a lovely... Um, yeah, when the baby's here, then we can have big parties. It'll be lovely. That's the only thing. Everybody's going to be having big parties, aren't they, in 2021? And I'm going to be not. 
Leslie guessed two. Anila, congratulations. So happy for you. Uh, you look after yourself and stay safe. I will, Anila. Thank you for your message. Um, I must say, they are looking after me here. They all look after me. Oh, thank you. They said they're going to get me a nice chair. What kind of chair? Like a rocking chair. Thank you. Um, pinks. These are such beautiful, beautiful pinks. Um, you've got your rose, you've got your beautiful fuchsia, you've got this one is blush and it's gorgeous. That is such a beautiful shade. And then you've got light pink as well, which it looks like a white on your screen actually, but it is a really subtle baby pink, um, which if you are thinking, you know, if you go to fabric shops quite often, and, and through no fault of their own, they just don't have the space to stock it where you don't find different shades of pink. You might have a light and you might have a dark. Um, whereas if you're matching it up or if there's a particular pink that you want to match with a, with a fabric, then this is absolutely perfect, isn't it? Um, do make sure you're checking out using the code VickyPP and all day today we're doing free postage and packaging. Uh, thank you. Were you born in April? Who's that? Julie. Julie. Julie, you're right. April is the best month, isn't it? Um, I was born in April as well. My birthday's in April. So um, I don't think it will be anywhere near my birthday. I hope not anyway. I hope not. It's My birthday's right at the end. So I don't want to wait too far into April because I'm due the first sort of week. So fingers crossed. Um, Debs. Hi, Debs. Thank you. Yeah, have you noticed, John Scott said this, I was just going for more of the A-line sort of dresses. Uh, it says, fam news, I thought you were, but you hid it well. Uh, looking forward to welcoming the baby to Sewing Street family. Oh yes, I did say to Kim, because he's never been on the television before, and Kat was saying, he should come in really today. And I said, right, well, maybe in April, you can pluck up the courage, Kieran, to come on telly, because otherwise the baby's, yeah, gonna be on, on the telly. Pardon? Does he look like a yeti at the moment, did you say? He's just got grown a beard. But yeah, he does. He is, he is, he has, he, that's why he didn't want to come in, because he thought, oh, I haven't had, have got a beard, lockdown beard. Right, so they're your pinks. For anybody who wants to pre-order on the website, I'd hate for anybody to miss Jerry the Giraffe. Um, already loads have gone. So if you click on Watch Live on our website, sewingstreet.com, you can purchase there, you can message in, you can see the early bird is absolutely flying out. You can make the most of that, $26.99 with free P&P. If you scroll down, all of the products from today's show will be on the left. On the right-hand side, click on pre-order. Uh, you might need to scroll down a little bit past all of these fabrics. I've got the moda, by the way, still to come this hour. There they are. So let me just go through with you. So the first one you can see is obviously the, the, uh, the rainbow uh, in those colours. So they're the colours that you're going to get. We'll talk through the, the design role and everything that you get, by the way, because you're going to be able to make loads of these cushions. You've also got the floral in the corner, there you go, floral colourway, which we will show you on the show at nine o'clock. Um, has Bonda Web sold out? We knew this had happened. We had stock today. I was excited to tell you we had stock and I've just noticed it says sold out. Um, the uh, instructions on their own, you can get them. If you've got fabric in your stash that you want to use, uh, then absolutely make the most of that. And then we've also got very limited quantity of both of the jelly rolls individually, 29.99. So basically you're getting half a metre of fabric for free if you get the kits, because you're getting the instructions, which are 9.99, you're getting your, your design rolls, uh, and of course you're getting your half a metre of fabric. Now we're down to, what, sorry, double figures, that's it. We had hundreds of them. Less than 70 instructions left. I don't think they'll last till nine o'clock. So if you do want the instructions, we were thinking, you know, everything's gonna last today. We've got enough of everything. A quarter of both of the bundles have gone. If you want them, absolutely make the most of them. I'm just gonna tell you now, just telling you now. Let's do the Moda Zoology panel. Oh, this is 
adorable. I must say, I'm definitely, definitely. Susie Duncan, she made such beautiful, beautiful projects from this panel that it has made me go, oh, I just want these in my nursery. This is so beautiful. <laughs> in my nursery. I haven't got a nursery. We haven't got a nursery. Uh, I know, these are all things that I've been thinking over the last few weeks and I'm like, oh. And they've been saying it in my ear. Uh, how beautiful is this? Your koala, your sloth, you've got your little flamingo, you've got your beautiful llama. Is it a llama? Alpaca. They're so gorgeous. And it's such a soft cotton. It's almost like a cotton sateen. It's not, but it's 100% cotton. It's absolutely silky, silky soft. Hi, Alison. Alison Marion is literally the loveliest lady ever. She's so nice. Virtual hugs and kisses and baby cuddles. Um, uh, uh, baby cuddles are the best, she says. Can't wait. Oh, Alison, she's oh, just amazing. Thank you, Alison. And Becky. Hi, Becky. Becky, uh, Alison's daughter, is too large to show it. I'll have a good read of it in the break. Thank you very much. Oh, here we go. Congrats, Mum. Mum told me a while ago, but I was uh, told to keep shtum. Get ready for all the handmade baby clothes. Oh, my gosh. Uh, what a fab wardrobe I will have. They'll have better wardrobe than me, won't they? How exciting. How exciting. Oh, thank you, Kelly. Oh, congratulations to your daughter as well. She's saying that she's expecting her first grandchild coming in March as well. Oh, that is really exciting. Do you know, I have started to hear lots of, um, th there are, um, I don't know whether it's because I am and I'm aware of it, but I seem to be hearing all the time different people who are having baby next year. Jean says, what lovely news, Vicky. Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Oh, she said, your life is going to change in the best way possible. I'm pleased that you said that, in the best way possible. I'm really excited. Uh, message from Suffolk. Her granddaughter is having uh, her first baby due Valentine's Day. I tell you what, that's better than um, April Fool's, isn't it? <laughs> Valentine's Day. Helen has messaged in. Hi, Vicky. Great news for you and your family. Yes, April is a great month to be born in my, uh, my birthday. Oh, <laughs> first of April. I've just said about April Fool's baby. Oh, that's you, Helen. Um, how exciting. Right, Julie. Free PMP code is spelt like this, Vicky PP, V I C K I P P. In fact, we'll put it on the screen, V I C K I P P. Add that to the uh, the little promo code at the end of checkout, and everybody today will be eligible for free postage and packaging. Right. So to go with this panel, we've also got the layer cake. Sorry. Sorry, I know that we're, um, <laughs> Elliot says, I don't think you really saw that panel yet. And it's absolutely beautiful. Well, that's up to you, Elliot. <laughs> right, so you've got your zoology layer cake. These are your 10 inch layer cake. Oh, thank you, Anne. Thank you, Anne says so she's delighted for me. It's very exciting. Oh, thank you. Honestly, I can't, I can't actually keep up. Oh, thank you very, very much for all of your messages. Uh, so your layer cake, these are all 10 inch squares. We've only got 15 minutes until Delphine's here. Jerry cushion time. It's going to be brilliant, isn't it? Free postage and packaging. Remember, don't forget the early bird as well. I'm going to um, sound like a broken record. Um, these go absolutely beautiful with the panel. Anything on the website, if it's your day to stock up on some wadding, if you want to just stock up on things like ribbon and buttons, we're going to do a stash, uh, stash builder. But if you want to get a sewing machine, if you want to get an adjuster form, if you want to get some waddings, it doesn't work if you're using split pay. It has to be one or the other. You either get free PMP or you're using split pay. But um, on everything else, it's fine. It's free posting packaging, even yarn lane. So if you're over on uh, the, the, the our sister show, our knitting and crochet show, all of the kits, all of the tools. If you want to get knitting, if you want to start knitting, free PMP. No, don't baffer. 
I'll cry. She says, I can feel a baby changing um, a bag being designed for you. That will be amazing. Oh, honestly, we are so lucky to have such incredible, incredibly talented designers that are part of all of our family. I hope that my baby has it in their blood that they just love sewing and making and crafting as well. Because they've just got, we've got to get it, get them into it from a young age. Get them on the sewing machine at a young like, age. Pardon? Yes, Hayley, um, cat's friend Maisie, her daughter loves Take That because they were on tour doing a Take That theatre show when she was pregnant. So yeah, they should just love sewing because I'm here all the time. Ah, oh, 31 pounds and 99 pence for your Moda Zoology layer cake char charm pack. They're 10, 10 inch uh, charm packs, which are beautiful. Who's that, sorry? Louise, Louise, hello. I'm wishing Scott a very, very happy birthday. 16 today, 16 today. Gosh, I mean, 16. No, 17 is still a teenager, isn't it? 17. But I do think 16 is a big birthday, isn't it? Oh, I hope he has an amazing birthday. I know it's a um, strange time, isn't it? But I, I must say, my birthday this year is probably one of my favourite birthdays ever do it. We did lots of Zoom things. We did like a quiz online. And, and it was actually really, really nice. Yeah, back when I could uh, have all of the gin, it was great. <laughs> Yeah, this second lockdown, I must say, has been very, very different to the uh, the first time round. Yeah, being absolutely sober. I did, yeah, I, I think I have been through all the different colours. You've got the peaches, the teals, the greys, all of those different beautiful moda fabrics as well. You know, when you're looking at moda, you're getting really, really beautiful um, quality. Now, these, again, are so soft. They're... they're they, they're the, the poplin weight cottons and they are silky, silky soft. They're lovely quality. How pretty are these colours? You've got the blues. It's like cherry blossom, isn't it? Uh, these are your white florals. So you've got your blues and even the shadows in the, uh, let me show you. The detail in the print. These are gorgeous. How pretty is that? So you've got it in blue. You've got it in yellow, and then you've also got half a metre of white to go with. If you're thinking of bags, if you're thinking of cushions, as I said, actually, I think this would be lovely for cushions, for um, just brightening up your, uh, your room after the Christmas decorations come down. This one's lovely as well. The yellow is beautiful. Elizabeth, happy birthday. Do you know what? It's so many people's birthday today, isn't it? I saw on Facebook yesterday, there was loads of people saying, oh yeah, it's my birthday too. Happy birthday, Elizabeth. Um, she said, I bought the iron as a birthday tree and the giraffe, brilliant. And in fact, the iron will be perfect for the giraffe. Um, it will be absolutely perfect. In fact, you'll see the iron in action in Delphine's project later. £12.99 and this one is absolutely gorgeous. Your yellow is gorgeous. Julie spelt Kieran's name right as well. Well done. <laughs> Honestly, no, because I couldn't spell it for a long time. <laughs> 12 pounds and 99 pence. And then we've also got, I mean, that's a lot for your money, isn't it? Half a meter of the yellow, half a meter of the blue and half a meter of your, um, of your white. Do we have these available by the half meter? It's worth having a look on the website because they'd be beautiful for blind. You're right, they would. Um, it's Rose and Hubble, gorgeous poplin weight cotton. Well done, everybody. Okay, we're literally moments away from launching. Oh, happy birthday, Scott. Oh, to be 16. Me and Elliot were talking about it earlier. One of the guys, Dan, who works in the office, he is 21 and I honestly feel like he's the same age as me. And then Elliot reminds me, no, he's 21. He's so, oh, he's, he's so lovely. We're just, yeah, Elliot, we're getting old, aren't we? Um, right. What, sorry, next, sorry, cat. Liberty, 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 liberty. Oh, there they are. So we launched these with Susie Duncan and we actually probably didn't really do these enough justice on the day because they came in and um, really, really last minute, they arrived into stock and we fast tracked them straight on air. And Hayley said, you're not allowed to have them because I'm having them for my show. Um, 
and we just did them literally for a sneak peek of them. These were all of the sort of like exclusive prints that weren't seen by the half meter. So if you do love the Emporium collection, we couldn't get any of these by the half meter. They're beautiful. Morning to all the new customers, by the way. It's so lovely. It's a great day to try us out, actually. If you've never bought from us before, because we're offering free postage and packaging all day long today, it's a great day to try us out if you've never bought before. So you're getting all of these gorgeous Liberty, Liberty Fat Quarters, half of a half metre. Uh, so there you go. You can see all of the same um, print in different colourways. You've got your florals. This one is gorgeous. This, it always looks sort of fluffy, it's so beautiful. And, I mean, it's Liberty. It is Liberty. Why not get Liberty Fat Quarters, I think for the first time with free postage and packaging. I don't think we've done Liberty Fat, I mean, we've been waiting for Liberty Fat Quarters for ages. Remember when we did the William Morris ones? Well, I mean, it's just been crazy. We have not seen any other Liberty fat quarters as far as, as, far as I'm aware. And they really, they come sort of few and far between. Even if you go to the Liberty store in London, um, I don't think that you can get, I don't think that you can get the, uh, the fat quarters, the pre-cuts like this. And especially in these prints, this is the Emporium collection, which if you watched the show with Susie Duncan explaining, uh, what this collection is all about. If you haven't, definitely go back and watch it because she's so informative. Um, this is a collection that pays homage to the, the store itself. So if those of you that have been lucky enough to, to, to see the store on uh, the corner of Argyle Street and Regent Street in London, it's the most incredible Tudor building. It's one of the most famous buildings in London. And this is a collection that completely pays homage to it. So uh, from the flower stand that's on the uh, end of Argyle Street to to the, the carvings in the wood in the store and the tiles and the prints. It's just beautiful. And it's all the quilting weight cotton. So this is a lovely heavyweight cotton. Uh, just using four fat quarters, you can make um, one of those beautiful uh, scarves that Susie was wearing. Um, I mean, you can make so much with four fat quarters. You could still cut them into your strips to do your design rolls, uh, to make your own jelly rolls. You can do so much with it. Um, those of you that love our new presenter, Wendy Gardner, how amazing is she? She was on yesterday. I've still, still yet to meet her. I'm really, really, she's very glamorous. She's very, very glamorous indeed, I've been told. She has her heels on. And um, she's lovely, she is lovely. What do you mean? She says, oh, she's going head to head with the glamour of Debbie Shaw. What do you mean? They're the most glamorous. Katz just said, Vic, we're not glamorous. We're not glamorous. We're coming in, in on Boxing Day in our pyjamas and we're unapologetic about it. <laughs> this would make an amazing cushion front, wouldn't it? I'd, I'd be scared to cut into it. Right, also, whilst everybody's watching today, I know how busy it is, you need to help us out. Boxing Day, um, we're thinking of doing some party games, ones that you can get involved in at home as well. So we need some suggestions. We're gonna have a bit of a think today. Charades we could do on the telly maybe? Pictionary we could do? I don't know. We need some ideas. Email in, let Kat know, because she's trying to think of some um, something that we can do. <laughs> that would be brilliant. That would be good fun. And we've got some great Boxing Day deals as well. Right. We've got three minutes to do our panels, um, our pre-printed panels. They're here, they're ready to go. They've already been printed for you and they are absolutely gorgeous. So you've got, this one's always been popular. Whenever we, um, we get it in, it sells out. The very first time that we had it in, in fact, it completely sold out in a heartbeat. This is called Hello Poppet. Kat, this is beautiful. She says, I picked this especially for today. Beautiful colours. You could, of course, cut these. These are two and a half inch strips. So you could cut these up and make your own design roll. You could use it for the, the projects that we've got today. Both projects were using design rolls. Giraffe would look lovely in this, wouldn't it? Or 
the one for next week. Right, everybody watch Christmas Eve. Definitely watch Christmas Eve. Delphine's got another amazing project, which is hot off the press. It is still in production at the moment, but it will be here in time for Christmas Eve. I don't know how Delphine does it, do you? How do you, bear in mind, Delphine has got two children. She's very, very busy. Um, also, this would be beautiful for, for binding. You could also pin tuck between these. You could cut them and, and, uh, and do EPP. There's a lot of different ways of using our, 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 beautiful, um, our, our beautiful panels. Now, normally when you're looking at jelly rolls or design rolls, they are 112 wide. They're your width of your quilting weight fabric. This is extra wide. It's 140 wide. So your price is incredible for how much fabric you're getting. Look. That's incredible. And um, you don't actually even need to sort of um, chop it up too much to be able to do some of Delphine's designs. The great thing is, is because it's all printed on a panel, um, it's all there ready to go. So you've got all the different colors, the coordinating colors all ready to go for lots of her projects, in fact. £19.99. And next week as well, what we're gonna do, we've asked Delphine if she'll just stay with us for um, an extra hour on Christmas Eve um, and 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 also she yeah she's gonna uh, she's gonna be here with me most of the day anyway she's uh, eagerly waiting in the wings ready for Jerry the giraffe coming up in literally a couple of minutes but we're doing a roundup of lots of Delphine's kits so for anybody who missed any of them fingers crossed we're gonna get as many of them back in stock for Christmas Eve show so that's gonna be very very busy one to put in the diary um, do we have time to do any more Let's just quickly do these. This is a smaller panel this time, but again, how pretty. How pretty, still 140 wide, but you've got the two different prints on each side. 12 pounds and 99 pence for your pastel half strips, aren't they beautiful? Just to remind everybody, of course, you can use your free PMP code all day today. I'll remind you of that just before we go to the break. Um, and if you're not sure where to put it on the website, there should be a box that says promotional code um, when you go to check out. If you're struggling though, speak to the customer service team, they're so lovely, uh, and they'll be able to put it through for you. They will be able to put it through for you. Exclusive to us, I love the ditzy prints on this one. It's really pretty. We've also got the same prints again, but in more of a bright colorway. What a manic hour, what a manic hour. Pardon? Oh yeah, this is what we call our uh, 90s one. This is really cool. You'll like this one, Elliot. Can I just show, because we saw the, the size of the other one. If I put this down here, then you can see the, the prints a bit clearer. Um, the colors are so vibrant and they've all got these beautiful ditzy prints. They're all different. And then, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight here. And then if I pull this forward, you've also got eight different prints again and different colors there. Do you see what we mean about the sort of 90s vibe? Really cool, isn't it? Just 12 pounds and 99 exclusive to us. Are we ready for this? Pop the kettle on. Don't go anywhere. Have a look on the website and don't forget, check out using the code VICKIPP, V-I-C-K-I-P-P, and you will be able to get free P&P &P all today, including on Jerry the Giraffe. The wait is over. Are you ready? Why don't everybody who's got it on pre-order, you can sit back and relax and enjoy the rest of the show. Don't go anywhere. Delphine Brooks is going to be joining me in just a few minutes. Christmas is going to be a little bit different this year, but Sewing Street will be here to keep you company from 8am to 12pm on Christmas Day. Help me, John Scott, spread some festive cheer by sending in your Christmas messages for us to play on air on Christmas Day. Whether it's a message to your fellow Sewing Street fans or to a loved one, a video message or text, we want to hear from you. Send your videos, photos and messages to studio at sewingstreet.com by Tuesday the 22nd of December to be included and be a part of Sewing Street's Christmas Day celebrations.
Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break, uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well and then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it so now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. If you haven't already heard, I've got a surprise and some good news to end the year. I'll be welcoming a new edition of the Sewing Street family into the world in April 2021. So to spread the joy, we're offering free P&P all day today on Friday the 18th of December until midnight tonight using the code VickyPP. Shop online at www.sewingstreet.com or via the UK Customer Service team on 0800 001 4433 for Sewing Street. Shop online at www.yarnlane.com or via the call centre on 0800 4700 600 for Yarn Lane. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. I am so excited about this hour. This is going to fly by, by the way. Um, if you've got anything in your basket now, remember, use the code VickyPP and you can check out with free postage and packaging all day, all day long, even when we come off air. Um, all night until midnight tonight, you can use the free PMP code on Yarn Lane and on Sewing Street. Uh, she's done it again she's only gone and done it again created for us the most incredible incredible design um now this one is in the bright which is already so popular what we're going to do is we're going to fly through all of the bundles for you and then we'll talk to delphine about everything because i just want to make sure that there's nobody missing out right are you ready 39.99 now how much can you make from the bundles a lot was the answer that I got from Delphine because you get a whole design roll. You get all of these fabrics, which as you can see, you're not gonna hardly use that many, well, you're not gonna use many fabrics at all for the cushion. So it means that one, you've got loads of design roll strips for your stash. Two, you could make, a, a, well, I was asking, what's the uh, collective noun of, of giraffes? And it's called a tower. You could make a whole tower of giraffes with this. So you've got all of your two and a half inch strips, which are lovely and bright. You've also got your half a meter of white and you've also got your all important Jerry the giraffe instructions. Now, the instructions available on their own, which I'll show you are 9.99. The jelly roll on its own or design roll on its own is 29.99. Um, so, my maths isn't great, but even I can see that that's for free. Half a meter full of white for free. And that's enough to be able to do your cushion. But then with all these colors, I mean, how amazing would this look on a dramatic black background or on a gray background or any color that you want to suit your, your sort of scheme. So these are perfect. Oh yeah, greens. You could put greens around, couldn't you? And do some lovely green trees sort of quilting. You could put extra plique bits. 
Uh, as always, with Delphine's projects, I know lots of people love to embellish and, uh, and do lots of different, um, you know, new techniques on there as well. Just so you know, we made sure, well, I say we made sure, we hoped, we hoped that we would have enough of these to go around. We had hundreds of each kit. And again, as predicted, loads of you have already checked out. Um, you haven't yet missed out. You have not yet missed out. You've still got a chance to get involved. And that's for the bright colorway, even to be able to get your hands on that lovely design roll. That's amazing. Um, now we haven't seen the floral yet and lots of people have been talking about it. So the floral colorway, is this one. I mean, the, 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 the fabrics that you get in this design roll are absolutely beautiful. They are so pretty, lovely little ditzy prints. You're getting your full design roll. You're also getting half a meter of white and you're getting lovely Jerry, lovely Jerry, the giraffe instructions. All of that for 39.99. Using the code Vicky PP is the first time I think we've ever done Delphine's projects with free P and P. I mean, we, we knew that we'd cause chaos anyway, anyway. If I'm being brutally honest, you know, lots of people who have been saying, oh, I've known for weeks, I've noticed weeks ago. We wanted to, um, well, Kat said, I just wanted to make it the perfect day. So I scanned through, I was being a bit, you know, mischievous and I spotted when Delphine was on. And Kat keeps saying to me, you've got to wait till the 18th. You've got to wait, you can't tell anyone until the 18th because we've got the giraffe. Everyone's going to love the giraffe. So we wanted to make sure that you got free PMP on it as well. Uh, so you get your design roll and you get your, uh, you get your white plus you get your instructions. I will keep you updated on stock, but at the moment you're absolutely fine. Fingers crossed every single person who's got them in their basket will, um, will be able to get them. Good luck. I'll keep you updated on the kits. Now, however, instructions on their own is a different story. Is there any point doing this? We've got less than 50 of these left, um, which I don't even know if it's worth bringing it to air, if I'm honest, because they will all sell out in the next few minutes. If you want them, there's less than 50. £9.99 for your Jerry the Giraffe instructions. Even once these have gone, I would absolutely still get the kit, definitely, because you've got your design roll, you've got white fabric. Um, anybody who misses this, I'm just preempting that there are gonna be people who miss out on the instructions on their own. But if you have got certain colorways in mind, I know that um, this one looks amazing, doesn't it? If you do want to do it with Tula or K4 or, or beautiful Moda coming up in the next hour, look at his eyes. I mean, he's just mesmerizing, isn't he? Oh, the detail. It's amazing. Okay, there's literally eh, about to sell out, five of them left, three left. If you want it, be quick. Um, but as I say, definitely make the most of the bundles. Definitely make the most of the bundles. We're also offering today the design rolls on their own. The brights are these ones, two and a half inch strips, all of the lovely colors with that slight sort of mottle effect as well. So it adds lovely texture. The brights is the one that you've seen the photograph of that is using these colors here. And they're absolutely beautiful, aren't they? You've got pinks, blues, purples, oranges look at them all they are amazing we are very limited though very 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 limited indeed 29 pounds and 99 pence for your 40 piece design roll love it and then also we've got the floral floral on its own i know that we had bundle web this morning and everything and it's already sold out i think everybody thinks right delphine's coming out i'm getting my bundle web now well done if you managed to get it this morning hi jean Hi, Vicky. Been waiting for this news. Oh, don't worry. I will not be leaving you for good. No, they're not letting me in the uh, in the gallery. They've already planned to make a crash in here for me. It's fine. No, I'm only I'm only down the road. I'm not going to be far away. I'm always going to be popping in and seeing you anyway. Um, so you've got your floral two and a half inch strip. 29 pounds and 99 pence. I love that you're constantly volunteering to babysit Elliot. I'm gonna, do you know, I'm gonna make you sign a contract. Okay, instructions on their own are completely sold out. Uh, 
it's your choice if you want rainbow or floral. And even if you're thinking, oh, I've got perfect fabric in my stash that I wanna use for Jerry the Giraffe, you're still always gonna be able to use those rainbows and floral fabrics for the projects anyway, aren't you? It might even be for another Delphine project that's coming up next week, Christmas Eve. Make sure you stay tuned, especially if you get these kits because you get plenty of fabric in there to be able to dive into other projects as well. Right, shall we do it? Delphine! Hello! I'm so pleased you're here today as well. Oh, thank you. But first of all, huge congratulations. Oh. It's so nice that it's finally out, that I've I not know. slipped. <laughs> and said anything. You've done so well. <laughs> Delphine, I think, was the first person that I told here. Um, yeah, thank you. Delphine's been an amazing friend to oh. me as well over the last but few months. But doesn't she so look you. amazing? I didn't look like that when I was pregnant. Oh, gosh, no. <laughs> I've been up since four o'clock this morning. Morning. I have, oh, I do have full of beans. Oh, we're really excited anyway about today's show, and especially as you get free P and P on one of yeah, your lovely designs. Yeah, yeah, I know. I've never had free P and P before. I'm you do. Excited. You did say to me earlier on this morning. I feel like everybody's just going to get, you know, it's there's going to come a day where one is it just doesn't yeah. work, and everyone doesn't like it. Whereas. No, I mean, they just uh, keep giving. And the, I know the projects that you've got coming up as well, even in the new year, your yeah. mind's constantly I just designing. Constantly, I can't, yeah, I can't switch off, but, but then that, that's my happy place. I like just constantly coming up with new designs. Did Kat yeah. have anything to do this by any chance? Because I know how much she loved giraffes. She didn't actually. No, I can't remember why I Where came did Jerry up with come it. from? It's just, just somewhere just... in my head. His yeah. eyes, Delphi. Well, that's what I love about giraffes, because they've got really long eyelashes and they're, they're pretty. <laughs> Oh, that's so, so that's why I really wanted to play on, on the eyes, yeah. Now, I know I've said this, but you get so much fabric in your loads. design role, don't you? Absolutely loads. So make you can make absolutely as many as you want. Make them fit. Uh, yeah, you could, you could even make it into a huge quilt. You could make loads of them in different colours and make it into different panels. You can make loads of cushions. And like I said before, I don't mind you selling what you make. Oh, there you go. As well, Brilliant. so yeah. As long as you give Make Delphine her. a bit of a nod to it yeah. as well, yeah, then definitely. absolutely. I think that's amazing to say, you know, when we come into to spring and summer and we're able to do craft fairs, which I've been talking to quite a few people who are saying, I've been plucking up the courage this year to start doing craft yeah. fairs. These would be amazing. But the thing is, so though, just do it. You know, we all start somewhere. Yeah. Um, you know, we don't just suddenly, you know, being able to come on here and being able to sew these projects. We all start somewhere. And when I was, uh, when I was pregnant with, um, yeah. with Louis, you know, I'd already been sewing a, a, a lot up until then, but it was having that confidence of someone just giving you the push to go, just go and do a craft yeah. fair, go and put set up a Facebook page, and before you know it, you're, uh, yeah, it's really good for your confidence. So, so, so what sort of skill level do you think this is? It's confident beginner. Ah, oh, brilliant. Uh, it's, brilliant, it's brilliant. Like, it's like with a lot of my projects, I try and keep them uh, simple for everyone, so they're achievable for everyone to be able to do them. So as long as you can trace, well, you've done all the cut, hard work. You can, you can do it. It's easy. It's really, really simple. And you, obviously, I do put in a, a few extra elements of a bit of free motion here and there, but that's only an option. And I do say there's lots of other ways that you can stitch it down. You don't have to do free motion if it's not comfortable. Right. So in the uh, pattern, as always, in the, the kit, you get obviously your instructions. And in there, yourself and Nick, your husband, yeah. I mean, you are a dream team putting we together are, these, we are, these yeah. templates for us. I don't know that's what I'll do without work. him. Yeah. He's a, he's a whiz on a computer. So I... I just do the drawings and he uh, makes it all into the templates. He's really clever, actually. He comes up with ideas that I, even I wouldn't have thought. Amazing. But, yeah. Oh, I love I it. So I can big him up because he's not watching today. He's gone to work today. <laughs> so you have your sort of uh, layout diagram. You yep. have your templates. You've got uh -huh. all of your really, really clear instructions. Mm -hmm. uh, all of your photographs. Everything there is really clear as always. Your graphics at the moment are for the rainbow. Right. Where do we start then, Delphine? Well, so you've got the templates. I've got, I'm just going to take my... I, I've got a paper one here. So those that are lucky enough to get your bond web, uh, always buy it on a roll. Just get as much of that stuff in as you possibly can. I don't know what I'll do without my bond web. So you'll have your template. So you've got the two. So you've got your face template here. And it's really, really simple. So each little piece that you... Um, oh, sorry, you can see a bit of my biro mark there. So all you'll be doing is drawing around each section. Now... Always draw, especially anything that you know it's going to be tucked under. So you know this, like the side face pieces here. Always just make sure that you draw them slightly bigger so when you put them all together and lay all the pieces down, that they'll be tucked under and there's no gap showing. Only because sometimes, depending on what fabrics you're using, if you, especially if you're using any uh, from, ones from your stash, when you put heat onto it, they could shrink slightly and you don't want to have a bit of a gap 
but from the cheek to the face. Okay. So all you'll be doing is individually drawing around each piece. Now I just need to make sure you point out this one for the ears. As you can see on the cushion, uh, the ears are made up from three different sections. So when, I'll, uh, when you do the, um, the tracing of the ears, don't just all trace out just that one because uh, you need to trace out the outline, the big ear, and then the centres of the ears. It will look a bit more apparent when I start to put it all together. But so all you've got to do is draw around each piece. So I'll start with, let's draw out the face piece. So could you, did you say you could sort of upscale this if you wanted yeah, to do a quilt? Yeah, you could do, yeah, or just do lots of, because you've yeah, got so you many different colours, I would make like, a, I don't know, a nine, even twelve. Um, oh, blocks. Yeah, twelve, no, sixteen blocks. Yeah, and then just make it into one big quilt. Oh, yes. Because you could have some of your favourite fabrics and, and just use those as plain blocks and yeah. use then the giraffes just sort of sporadically yeah. over it. It would look amazing. Or even idea. just like a, like a monotone would look really cool yeah. as well. And just bringing out like one little colour and use the same one. Sorry, I'm going again. Oh, no. Well, going. this is what people do though. You know, because we've seen so much on the, the fan page as well, uh, whenever everyone's got the templates home, yeah. we've seen them put them onto back of denim jackets, yeah. onto quilts, onto wall hangings. There's so much that you can actually do once you've got that template. Yeah. Yeah, and it, that's what that's what, again with with my designs. I just like people to just come up with their own thing. I'm giving you yeah. an an idea. Yeah, that's what I'm giving you. I'm giving and all you your an drawings idea. and the so drawings hard. and the templates, and then you can take them from there. Don't feel that you have to stick to it exactly the way I've done it. Use your own imagination. Add a few extra bits. Embellish. Love it. Beads, buttons, threads, yeah. French knots. You know, I like a French nice. knot. Yeah. Yes. So, but all yeah. So I'll um. So I'm, I'm thinking all sorts of things. There. No, go for so it. So we'll do the face. I've done a few bits already. So when you are um, coming to trace over your giraffe, it's not exactly symmetrical. So when I, like I always say, if you're, if you want it the exact mirror image as the cushion and the picture on the front of the, the instructions, make sure you draw on the glue side, so the scratchy okay. side. Okie doke. So I'm just going to go in. I don't want to try not to get my head in there. If you've got a light box, then definitely use one of those. And you just use a normal biro? I'm just using a normal biro, yeah. Not the... Um, not the friction pen. Not, the friction not a heat erasable <laughs> pen. <laughs> I've done that before. So you don't have to be too precious about it. But, you know, if you're at home or if it's your first time, just make sure you take your time. Lots of love for your project, Delphine. We've had lots of messages coming and saying, absolutely love Delphine and all of her projects. Oh, they're so lovely. You're a lovely bunch. There we are. Just have a quick... It's been a whirlwind of a year with Delphine, I must say. Bearing in mind, we only launched the show back in February. When was it that you joined? Uh, it, was the, it was March the 13th, because I remember it was Friday the 13th. Oh, really? Yeah. And then everything, then all the craziness sort of happened. Yeah. So we didn't actually meet you. I didn't meet you. In, well, I know you did, Kat. Well, you did my first show. Yeah. That and then I didn't see been, you yeah. for um, a while then because yeah. of all the lockdown. And then uh, I can't remember when I came back. It's been, it's just been, it's just been, been it feels like it's been really uh, quick this year, but then also it's been a long year. It's really, it's a yeah, strange feeling, isn't it's it? Been, it's been, it's been... Well, for me, and you know, we all say that we're all in the same. What's they say? We're all in the same boat. storm, but not in the same oh. boat. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, whereas I feel blessed because you know this this has happened for me this year. So yeah. to me, this has been a great year yeah. in yeah uh, work wise. But uh, yeah, but yeah, it's certainly one that we're not going to forget. No, isn't it? I know. Right, what colour should we have? And again, so I, hang on. Have you uh, got a bit of a hybrid going on here, or are they all the florals? Do you get solids? You do get a little. You do get some solids. You get some solids in, in there as well. Ooh, yeah. I like so uh, and again, if, with with a project like this, you don't want it too matchy matchy. Okay. You know, just pick up whatever colours you want, make, but make sure they stand out from one another. So okay. you don't want the ear, the green ear bit on the on a green floral background, things like that. So make them clash, make it really stand out, right, make it okay. really pop. And I suppose having a design role like this, they've done the hard work for you because yeah. they are definitely all going to complement each other. But still, like you say, pick ones that are, are, are quite sort of contrasting. Yeah, and uh, just, stand just out. your favourite ones. But look at all of this fabric you get. <laughs> So make loads, make loads of them. And I'm you've got more projects time. coming up as well, haven't you? Yes, Which these I will be have. really useful for as well. Yeah. yeah, I've got a couple more coming up next week. Brilliant. Yes, there's like plenty week. in there. Yeah, because what day is Christmas Eve? Um, is it a Thursday? Friday. Friday. Uh, is it? 
So I think yeah, I'll have a few of these Saturday, isn't it? So in fact, I'll just keep that folded because it's a lot easier. So as you know, when you've done the, dare, dare, dare I say, Highland Cow, uh, I do like to um, sew small strips of fabric together to create one bigger piece of fabric. And I like that in a couple of reasons. The, one of them being is that you get a bit more interest, you get more texture to your piece. And also, if you're using um, like an ombre effect uh, of, of strips, then it creates a, um, Ooh, just a more interesting again. piece of fabric. That nice. So that's why I like to work with... Uh, small pieces of fabric like charm packs and jelly rolls and things like that so for if you are using the strips the apart from the the neck and the face everything is done with just a single strip right so but the face and the neck you do need to um cut a few strips and sew them together to make a bigger piece okay so these are two and a half inches so i'm just going to cut them Elliot's trying to make us a day late, by the way. It's Christmas Day next <laughs> next Friday, so it's Christmas Eve on Thursday. You've got to be what here. What day is it now? It's... I don't know what day. I never know what Friday day It's Friday today. It's Friday today. A week today is Christmas Day. So you'll be here with me on Christmas Eve next Thursday. Yep, I'll be here. Good. Yeah, the boys are breaking up from school today. Oh, last day. Chris Christmas jumper day. I hope Nick's remembered to put them in a Christmas jumper. <laughs> Oh, it's it's been all sorts, hasn't it, for your children though this 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 week? <laughs> They've had pajama day. They had uh, nothing like testing a parent. We've had pajama days. <laughs> We've had um, watching because obviously they have not been able to go to the pantomime. Watching a pantomime day, wear your hat for a Christmas dinner, but not your uh, not um yet to wear school uniform. There's another day you can wear uh, smart clothes. It was you know just like literally every day. It's well like done. a pair. <laughs> oh, so I'm exhausted this week. So they have they have tested us this week, the school. But the kids have, a, have had a great time. They love it. Can't say you've got all this to look forward to, Vic. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, Laurie says, lovely giraffe, Delphine, um, as all of your patterns are. She loves them. Uh, Lulu said, morning, Delphine. Uh, the lovely squiggle pattern in the background of the giraffe. Um, is that one done before? Uh, is, is that done before you put the giraffe on? That's after, isn't That's it? That's afterwards. The yeah. free motion, that lovely little sort of free motion squiggle. But as you said, yeah. this is optional. You can do whatever sort of quilting you want. Yeah, so I've done a few different uh, uh, techniques there. So on that one, I made did circles to all, almost like emanate the giraffe oh, skin. Nice. Uh, and then the other one, just make it up as you go along. But you don't have to do that. It's like I say, you can quilt it the way you want. I'm just giving you different ideas. That's and, all the circles. And it's quite, it's quite nice just keeping it plain as well and just let the, um, yeah. the applique do the talking. So all I'm going to do is sew these little strips right sides together. Am I all plugged in? Yeah. So, and again, d doing this technique, it doesn't matter if you're not, if it's not perfectly straight, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to make that a quarter inch. And you can chain piece these as well. Oh yeah, so this, this will come together actually quite quick, won't it? Patricia, you've just sent me the most lovely message into the studio. Thank you so much. She says, very happy to hear your wonderful news. Uh, thank you to you and all at Sewing Street for making us part of your family when we can't see those we love. That's Aww. so lovely. Do you know, I must say, this is, this is, ex I feel exactly in the same, like you say, in the same storm in different boats. Mm. We're all going through the same thing. And um, honestly, you guys at home, you've been keeping us sane here as well. We're so pleased that one, we were able to start the show before March, before the craziness happened. Because this year has just been, um, well, Sewing Street has been our saving grace, hasn't it? It's kept us going. On my days off, you know I'm watching it all the time. <laughs> We're, it's just always on in the background and it's nice, sort of familiar, friendly, family voices in the background, isn't it? Which is lovely. And also seeing what everybody else's makes and stuff. Oh. I'm always on the fan page, having a look. Yeah. So really, are you a talented bunch out Oh there? gosh, everyone's so talented. Uh, you did say earlier on, didn't you? I love seeing pictures. So if you do make any of Daphne's projects or any of your projects, please send them in. Daphne, I know this is your favourite part, of seeing other people's makes. Yeah, it so really is. have a look at this. This is from Angie. Hi, everyone. <gasps> Merry Christmas yeah. and a Happy New Year. Loved doing these. Um, have... Given out as presents, the Highland Cow. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, I love that. What she's I love, got, the I love the fabrics. fabrics. What fabrics are they? 
They're gorgeous, aren't they? When I first looked at it then, I thought she'd sewn tiny little pieces of squares together. Oh, there's another one. And then this is another one from Marjorie saying, made a wall hanging, so pleased with it, love the pattern. That looks incredible. Are they boutiques as well? That's what I'm looking at, yeah. Mm, oh, Marjorie, that's beautiful. I love I love it. The quilt. Is that quilting as well that she's in the background, or the fabric? It doesn't surprise me that we're going to get, we are. We should really have a whole hundreds of Highland Cow. Uh, <laughs> should we? <laughs> we should have hundreds. The amount of people who've got that Highland Cow pattern, we want to see every single one of your, your makes. And just a warning, by the way, um, over half the stock of both kits are completely sold out. Um, the main graphic is for your florals and then the side graphic here is the rainbow. Amazing. Uh, Duffy's working with the florals. I'm excited to see this sort of come together actually. This is going to look really pretty, I think. That's it. All I've done is change, chain piece those together and now I'm just going to do that again and make just a bigger piece of fabric. Again, don't be too precious about it. It doesn't matter if it's a bit wonky. Susan, I know, she says, Delphine's done it again. She's amazing. Uh, can't wait to see what's in the pipeline for next year. Have a great day. Um, have a great Christmas, Delphine and family. That's Aww. from Susan. And you too, Susan. Have a great Christmas. Oh, so it'll be a quiet one this year. But... Oh, can I just say, actually, it's my niece's birthday today, Chloe. She's oh, 22 Chloe. today and she's a student paramedic. Oh, and wow. she's working back to back shifts. She's amazing. So happy birthday, Chloe. Oh, Chloe. Round of applause. Thank yeah. you. How ex uh, I mean, there's so many people's birthday today. It is. It's a popular day. What were people doing nine months ago that were so boring at this time of <laughs> <Yeah>. year? <laughs> no, no, but I was, I was kissing on the front page. Everybody was saying, oh, it's my birthday and my birthday and my birthday. There we are. And I'll just, is that my last one? I think so. Yeah, my mum told me this. It's, it's, it's quite annoying, actually. You're technically pregnant for 10 months, aren't you, really? 40 weeks. So if we trace that back, that was Valentine's. Valentine's. Mm. <laughs> Don't celebrate Valentine's anymore. Once you're 10 years of marriage in. <laughs> I get a card. All right, last piece. So are you uh, getting anything nice for Christmas? I have no idea, I have no idea. Um, just a baby. <laughs> just a baby, the best present ever. No, do you know, I'm, we're having a really quiet Christmas this year. Obviously we've got a, a manic year and we'll, we'll have um, things to buy, I'm sure, in the new year. So we've just said, no, let's just do a little Christmas this year. Hopefully I'll get a Toblerone. I really fancy oh, Toblerone. <laughs> it's after eights. After eights. That's, that's my Christmas chocolate, an after eight. I'm going to use the early bird. I'm going oh, in. I'm going in. Early bird. Grab it whilst you can. We were so lucky to get this. Hayley um, was really, really lovely to let us do this. But it is brilliant. Um, it's with free postage and packaging as well. So I know that John Scott said, look, it is going to go up in price. And it has gone up in price. But you're getting free PMP, so we're kind of cheating the system here a bit. Uh, 26.99, and I think it will probably go up in price again. To be honest, after these have gone, um, this is the last chance to be able to uh, to get it. I think at, at these sort of prices, make the most of it whilst you can. It has got a steam option as well. It's small but mighty, isn't it? This isn't this? it. Yeah, there normally sort of travel irons. Um, annoy me a bit but this isn't a travel iron this still packs a punch it's still got the power of your domestic iron but it's ideal for projects like this actually Perfect. you know when you don't want to get your big ironing board out and your main iron and or you want to press seams or open seams yeah and, and also because we're going to be using a lot of small pieces you know well, I say small you know for the eyes and the nostrils and things like that for the giraffe you don't necessarily if you get your big iron it could it glue the wrong pieces glue down. the wrong pieces down whereas this you can be just a tiny little point that's a good point so um any type of applique and for those that did the tiger um that who got tasha, tasha definitely one of these okay 100 percent all the way and i must say like i you know how much i rave about the prim one it's 39.99 and that's the price of it which is brilliant so this is an absolute steal isn't it 26.99 with free p and p if we had the the stock that we had earlier on with uh with john then all of them would have sold out we managed to get more in stock today now you're not using a ruler there you're just going freehand i'm just freehand if you're not confident in doing that then just use a pair of scissors okay it's only because i don't want to waste any okay. bonderweb it's too precious bonderweb <laughs> 
So you've just gone round, not right to the... Not right to it, just to uh, just cut off any excess, really, because I don't want to get any, any glue on the mat. OK, thank so, you. So, yeah, yeah, I don't want to ruin the mat. And then all I'm going to do is glue it to the back of my sewn piece of fabric. So this is going to be the main sort of face, so choose what colours you want yeah. to be that main face. So again, this you'll do the main face and the neck in this method. Everything else is just using the strips. Give it another bit of a press. And you can do it. Obviously, I've just used one colour, but you can choose. You, you know they, they, in the way they put the, all the colours in the roll, you could just choose the next colour along right. and, and do, do each strip a different colour. It would still look absolutely fabulous, but oh, I'm nice. just doing it this way because it's quick. Nice. You, you're good at doing random, actually, aren't you? A lot yeah. of people struggle to do random. And the great thing is, is the jelly rolls, they do come in a sort of order, don't they? So if you do want to pick it up and do it in order. Yeah, and then that's just easy. Because like you say, they've done all the work for you, haven't they? So again, I am going to use the rotary cutter. I feel quite confident doing it this way. But if you're not, then please use scissors. I'm only going to do a little bit of it, and then I'll switch to scissors. I know that is showing off, isn't it? That is good. And then... You know, don't just move your rotary cutter, move the fabric. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you're just not getting your you hand have... anywhere near it. Nowhere near. There we are. And then with these little bits, it's a little bit fiddlier. Um, I would, at home, do it with a rotary cutter. But well, I suppose be... you could get your little rotary cutter out, couldn't yeah. you? Um, the one that you used for Tasha. Yeah, you definitely need one of those for Tasha. I saw an amazing one um, that a lovely lady did in the black Tula. The, uh, did you oh, see wow. that? That was amazing. What was uh, the Highland Cow, was it? No, the, the Tasha. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, yes. Did it we show wicked. it on air? Or did I just see it on the, the fan page? That was amazing, yes. Oh, thanks, Sarah. Merry Christmas, Sarah. I hope to see you soon. It feels like yeah. ages since you've been here, Sarah Bolam. Uh, she said, morning, ladies. Congratulations, Vic. So pleased to have uh, to hear your wonderful news. Merry Christmas and love to you all at Sewing Street. Thank you. And Lorraine, crazy Lorraine's message. Thank you, Lorraine. She says, um, Merry Christmas to you and Delphine. And she says, and all of the staff, staff at Sewing Street as well. Thank oh, you. Oh, a lovely bunch. So now, like I said earlier, the two cheeks faces yeah um glue side first so i'm going to just as you can see the eyes here you're not going to see what's underneath here you haven't got to cut round this bit just go through it because it will just stick on top of it anyway and then just do it slightly bigger as it goes into the face literally a couple of mil uh just so in case your fabric shrinks or you accidentally cut a little bit too far in the line okay but again I'm just doing it fairly rough and there we go all right let's choose another piece of what, what colors did I have in there hmm do you keep all of your little bits? Do you keep everything, all of the little bits of fabric? I, I'd love to. Uh, you know when sometimes you just got to think there's a limit of how much you can actually keep? Uh, let's have... Hmm. Yeah, that'll do. So these can be my little face pieces. Again, I'm just going to quickly cut out. Keeping my fingers out of the way. There we are. I love hearing all of your uh, stories, by the way. I'm going to have a good read of them all. Kat keeps telling me in my ear lots of different messages. Yasmin's just said that she had twins in April. Oh, my gosh, twins. I hadn't even thought of that, you know. When they did the scan and they just said, oh, just so you know, there's one baby there. I thought, oh, my word. Thank Lord, I'm so... Pr I, I hadn't even thought that they could be twins. That's Adam, like... our, uh, one of our guys over at Jewelry Maker, he's um, just had twins and... It runs in his family, and it's, it, but it is hard work, hard work. Every time I see him, I'm like, have you slept? No. He's like, no. What's that? Exactly. He's like, I might, I might have had sort of one hour sleep a night, uh, maximum. So it's one sleeps, and then the other one wakes up. That's the one thing that I don't miss, is the, the, sleep. the sleep. Which you'll look forward to soon, Vicky. <gasps> uh, you're gonna, you never know. You might be one of these, have one of the babies that just sleep all through oh, the night. Because no. that's what babies do. 
<laughs> oh. Yeah, but it goes so quick though. Okay. It does go so quick. Six months should be fine. What were your babies like? Were they good at sleep? Oh, mine were dark. Well, look, Charlie was premature. He was two months early. Oh. Uh, so he just slept because uh, he was fed through a tube yeah. uh, for quite a while. Uh, now, you want to see the size of him now. He's nine uh, next month and he's in 11 to 12 clothes. Ah. He's huge. Gosh. Uh, but he was, a, he was a really good baby. He never cried. He was just really, really calm. Uh, whereas Louis, I'm still apologising for Louis now. <laughs> so, uh, he was a uh, C-section, so he was came out. He, he wasn't ready. He, he just wanted to stay in there. He was yeah. comfy because he was a foot limb breech baby. So he was, he was, he was just comfy. He didn't want to, he didn't want to come out. And uh, but he was really good. He was. Uh, I breastfed both of. Well, eventually when I could breastfeed Charlie, and I loved it. I just. I, I was. I mean, I was one of those moms that I could have carried on. Yeah. Uh, and then Nick was like, "Enough's enough now." <laughs> but they were. Re they were beautiful babies. Beautiful babies. And uh, no, I was really lucky. And uh, but yeah, I'm one of those that I just. I can't wait to have a cuddle yeah. with yours. If we're allowed to. I know. Hopefully by April, everything will yeah. be a bit more normal. But it's, uh, yeah, and you're so good at not finding out as well what you're having. I know. Well, to be honest, yeah. I haven't actually had the, the, I haven't even had the desire, like, to find out. I thought by the time I get to this sort of point, I'd be like, oh, right, I just want to know now. But actually, I don't know why. I've just had not had the desire, which a lot of people nowadays, I suppose, because you can find out. Most yeah. people do. I did. I had to find out. Yeah. For Nick's sake as well. I think yeah. he needed to know. I think Kieran's adamant that we're having a girl. Oh. But I don't know. I still think a boy. I don't know, though. No idea. Could be, could be one of the two. Uh, Hayley said, six months. How lucky you are. My daughter is 11 months. She says she still doesn't sleep. <gasps> she says, but it's all worth it. She's promised it me is. it's all worth it. Thank you, Hayley. She says, congratulations. <laughs> it is. It is the best thing, having babies. Yeah, I'm excited for you. I'm, I'm a little bit jealous. I'm just like, oh. <laughs> there we are. I'm just going to cut out a square of fabric. Right, you're just eyeballing this. Do you, yeah. put the do you put the measurements in the instructions? Yes, the measurements are in the instructions. I always say, depending on, I mean, most cushion pads are what, 16 to 20 inches. Do you like to do sort of like a snug? Yeah, so I like a snug cushion. Snug so um, I've written it all down in the instructions. But if you, are, if you do want a snug cushion, you want your top to be two inches smaller oh. than the pad that's right. how much i go i originally started with one but they were a little bit floppy so yeah two inches oh, that's how i do it but yeah. it, everyone's got their own preference yeah uh so say if this was uh for a 16 inch cushion pad mm -hmm. i would cut this initially to about 15 inches only because once you've done all the sewing and the quilting it sort of distorts a little bit so then you want to trim around the edges and tidy it all okay. up a little bit but if you want to make it a little bit bigger especially if it's your first time then if you don't mind wasting you know or cutting off an extra couple of inches then do it like that but it all it's all down to your skill level and confidence yeah so uh but you've got you've got the you've got enough of the fabric there you've yeah you get half a meter so is that enough to do the front and the back of your cushion Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you might need. Uh, you might be. Um, depends on your cushion pad size. Right. So if you're 16 inch, you should be fine. Yeah. yeah. So I have quilted mine. So if you do want to quilt them, uh, have a little bit of batting and have uh, wadding and put that underneath. But make sure that's uh, uh, again slightly bigger than your cushion top, only because it moves around when it's when you're sewing it. So okay. you just want to make sure that you've got enough there. Uh, anything. Anything will do. Anything you've got in your stash will work fine. Brilliant. So I'm just going to... So what sort of wadding do you use behind a cushion? Oh, I've used all sorts. The 80-20 um, is a favourite. The, the oh polyester one. Uh, H640. Oh, so you can use anything, anything goes. you stash. It's, it's, it's honestly what I've actually got at home. Okay. Or what I've got left from projects. Yeah. It's uh, No one's going to see it. So No, just to give it a little bit of cushioning, H640 is a good one. Or like you say, any of the... The 8020 waddings, even like you say, your polyester craft wadding is going to yeah. be sufficient as well. The H640 is great for projects like this because, um, for example, if you want to do a lot of free motion, you know it's not going to get all sticky on your needle uh, and you know it's going to be sturdy and, ha and give that uh, 3D effect that you want. Nice. So that's a favourite one. I'm just going to keep the iron just here, otherwise I'm going to be constantly <laughs> up, and, up and down. Yeah, and you've got to be careful of your uh, knee. your knee. Yeah. Exactly. I've got my scan in January. 
and yeah, hopefully gosh. that will all be fixed soon. So you've done all of these little bits, these are my pre prepared, little bits. and they're already bonderwebbed. Already bonderwebbed, yeah, just to save a little bit of time. So before you stick anything down, you want to make sure that you're happy with your placement of your pieces first. So take off your backing of your pieces. Sorry, Elliot, this is where I'm going to make a mess. We did, um, we did have a good tidy... No, sorry. Elliot had a really good tidy round this morning. He's a good egg, isn't he? <laughs> he is a good egg. So also, if you're not sure about which piece is which, uh, of, of course, label on the back. Oh, you know, that's uh, the right cheek, that's the left, left cheek. Or you can just do what I do and just eyeball it. Yeah, I think so. when you've done it a couple of times, you'll get to know exactly what the pieces are. But if you have got lots of bits and you're thinking, right, I, I, I want to make sure that it's identical, like you say, just do yourself a, a note on the bonder mm. web. So, so do you peel it all off and lay it all out before you fix it? I do, uh, I do mainly for the, the larger pieces. Obviously the smaller pieces like the eyes and the fiddly bits I'll do a bit later. But for this, I'll just um, realise I put that on the wrong side of the fabric. Oh well, it's a nice contrast. There we are. <laughs> you can get away with it. So I'm just putting it on piecing it all together. There is a placement guide in the instructions as well, so you can always refer back to that. There we are. And then, so when I was saying earlier on about the ears, about there being three different parts, obviously you've got the main ear piece, Ooh. which is these bits. I'm excited to see it coming together in the floral as well. It looks lovely, doesn't it? And... And then you've got these pieces. Okay, so this is basically that piece there. I thought I peeled these off, so apologies for this. Crikey me, doesn't the time go quick? Look at that. The floral has flown into the lead, by the way. If you've got it in your baskets, check out now. Uh, I think the more and more we're sort of seeing it come together, lots of people are, oh yeah, fancy look at that. And you, the fact is you've got a great selection of lots of ditzy prints, small scale. So if, you're, if you are looking at smaller cuts, even like, the, the, like you say, just round the ear, you're still getting that glimpse of the floral it's print, It's really pretty, you? isn't it? I think it's quite nice that they have put the... Um the solids in just to you know really make the yeah. help the uh, the, the uh, florals really pop out yeah absolutely and then the last part of the ears oh I like this one this like mustardy colored um, that's gonna be a um, Pantone color of the year the yellows and grays or ochres and grays are the 2021 colors of are the they? year yeah there you go very on trend so there you go I, I knew that obviously <laughs> So you want to make sure that those are just slightly tucked in. There we are. And do all this laying out on your pressing mat as well, because otherwise you spend all that time and then you take it over and, uh, yeah, you got you realise, oh, I should have just done this on the ironing That's board. That's it. And this is where, yeah, once you're happy with your placement, I'm happy with that. So, as I said, these bigger pieces are the, um, are the ones that you need to make sure that you're definitely happy with before you glue them down. So there's his little neck. And the only other bit that is tucked under before I start gluing them down is the mouth. So the only thing is with the floral one, there's no black or dark, but you only need a tiny little amount. So raise your stash. Everyone's yeah. got a bit of black somewhere. Yeah. Or just something dark. You know, a navy okay. blue would work well. Susan's asked, yeah. could you scale it down for smaller projects? Yeah. 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 You just, uh, I'd have to ask Nick how to do it. But yeah, you just yeah. Put, scan it in and. Yeah, if you know how to do it on your printer, there's no reason why you couldn't, like we said, upscale or, or downscale. There's even, even the placement guide is a bit smaller, so you could even use the placement guide. Christine said, morning everyone, just a, a return from my la my last morning as a lollipop lady this year. Woo -woo. And she says, and wow, 
Delphine Brooks, you've done it again. Aww. Jerry looks so gorgeous. And then she just put, did I hear that right? She says, congratulations. What a wonderful thing to share with us. You'll be a fantastic mammy. Thank you so much, Christine. <gasps> oh, what a lovely. I've uh, just reminded me of um, our lollipop man because I'm not there today, John. I gave him his box of biscuits yesterday. Oh. He's a lovely man. Oh, well, I, I, I remember my lollipop lady from school. I loved her so much. Morag has said, congratulations, Vix. Are you announcing the gender? I don't know. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know if I'm having a boy or a girl. I haven't found out. She says, you might have a baby like, um, like my two. They both slept 10 to 15 hours a night. What were you feeding Yeah, them? Christine. <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, Morag. That's amazing. Yeah, I need to know your tips, yeah. please. Barbara. I've been waiting for this announcement for ages. <gasps> Could you tell? Could you tell? <laughs> there we are. I had to Google what these were called. Oh, yeah. What are they called? <laughs> you can't oh, remember, can, can you? Now. I've written it in the instructions. Os Ozy cones? Uh, Ozy cones? Oh, it's something like that. Well, don't take my word for it. I did write it down, but that's what I was, Nick told me to write. So it, I'm blaming it. Nick already. <laughs> So it's not right. Ozy cones. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it does look like Ozy cones. I know the parts of the pieces, the eyes, the eyebrows, Ozy cones and nostrils. Ozy cones. Yeah. I don't think I've ever heard that before. No. And what do you say the, uh, a group of giraffes were? A tower? A tower, a tower of giraffes is, a, yeah, a group of them. There they are. So this is where you do the bigger pieces and then just do the small pieces bit by bit. There you are. I like the ditzy one. I like this floral. It's really pretty. This one's actually the most popular, isn't it, did you say? This is the most popular. Yeah, floral is absolutely flying out. Don't forget, it's the only way of getting the instructions now. The instructions on their own are completely sold out. So you get your instructions, you get your floral design roll, and you get half a metre of white to be able to make your cushion. Remember though, you're going to be able to make loads and loads. Use your fabric from your stash for your background and you could make a big quilt. You have plenty of fabric in here to be able to make a whole tower of giraffes or um, all for, for other projects as well. In fact, we're talking about um, jelly rolls and design rolls uh, over the last few weeks with different projects. So these are really, really useful to have. The rainbow one, exactly the same. You get your pattern. It's the only way of getting the pattern. Plus you get your half a metre of white and you get your design roll. And buying it individually um, costs you more. So, well, it's sold out now, but the instructions were, a ten, were 10 pounds. The design roll was 29.99. So you're getting your half a metre for free. Um, it's brilliant value for money. And especially if you use the code VickyPP, you get free postage and packaging all day today. So definitely use that code V-I-C-K-I-P-P. Yeah, okay. Yeah. This is where it's really going to start. To oh, together. I love these beautiful eyes. Like you say, giraffes have the most gorgeous eyelashes, don't they? And uh, and also you can exaggerate that as well with a few extra stitches. Do some, make them really flut, flut, fluttery. Yeah. <laughs> there they are. This is where, like you say, the mini iron actually. It, the it, mini iron really helps. Yeah. This is. Uh, you won't be without it for things like this. It is today's early bird special with free PMP. I'm so pleased we've still got stock of this for anybody who's just tuning in because a lot of people like Christine have just joined us. Today's early bird is one of the most exciting early birds. Have you not taken your bond away? No, off? I was wondering why it wasn't sticking. Now, John Scott wasn't lying. He did say that the price would go up, but the uh, free PMP means it's gone up four pounds and you've got your free PMP. So we've basically equaled it out for you. How good is that? And it's a really, really good strong iron, isn't it? It really is. And that's in a project like this, it comes into its own because if you've got your iron and your big one and you're over the top of it, things do tend to move around when you're doing a plique. And then sometimes you lift it up and it's too late and you peel it off, there's glue everywhere. And so this is a must, definitely. There we are. Oh, she's pretty. Oh, Ooh, she's so pretty. Maybe it's Geraldine. Well, yeah, so I thought it would be unisex. Yeah, Jerry's a... Yeah, Jerry. Jerry Halliwell. Well, exactly. I nearly spelt it that way with the, with the <laughs> eye. Uh, there's 
there. Give them the eyes. So the, the nostrils you can put um, either way. Obviously, I've put, um, in the pattern I've done them one way, but I have done them on you two different ways. Only because I thought it gives them a, a little diff bit of a different character on each one, just ever so slightly. Oh yeah, it does. So it's almost Ooh. like the having them turned down on the orange one, yeah. it makes them look a bit more, I don't know, younger. Whereas you've turned them up, it's for the more mature giraffe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you know, I was just holding these like this and then they've just told me, no, that's a picture, Vic. You're not envisioning. I was like <laughs> really holding them in position and then realised it wasn't me on the telly. Oh, Ryan's messaged in. Is this our Ryan from the office? Oh, yeah. Oh, do you know what? All these people volunteering babysitting way too early. They've just, and Ryan's just said, congrats, Vix. I can't wait to babysit in the office. Yeah, yes, please. I'm making the most of all this. Christine um, said, um, I can see another T-shirt coming along, Delphine. This would be really lovely on a... Yeah, it would do. ...back of a jacket or on a T-shirt. Yes, good idea. Make sure you send pictures. Oh, the green as well. Love that. Yeah. And then I'll just do the nose. I think I've lost a piece somewhere. I did quite well, actually. If uh, I tend to lose most of the pieces. Yeah, well, you've got them all in a little, um, a little bang. It's, it's nice to be able to do. Like you say, it doesn't actually right. take that long to do. Have you lost another one? I have. So Which I, one is it that you've lost? I've lost the, the top of a nostril. I'll fix it. I can do it. I'll fix it. We've had so many messages of people who are asking about what's in the pipeline. Watch on Christmas Eve. You're going to love it. We're having a lot of people saying about British wildlife, like foxes and squirrels and things like that. That's a good idea. Uh, Shelley's just asked for a pig. We've had a message come through for a cow. Obviously, we had the Highland cow, which was very popular. Someone else wanted a seal. You're going to be very busy in 2021. I will be. I have got a very... Uh, um, so I've got a collection of them all in here, but I, there's one in particular that, I'm, that was just said that I will definitely <gasps> be doing in the new year. As long as I'm allowed to do it, obviously. I'll speak to the boss. Oh, no. Not allowed uh, anymore. No more. <laughs> but uh, no, I've got a couple. They're, they're up there. They're, they're up here. June's calling this one uh, Gazelle. Giselle. Giselle the giraffe. Oh, I like that. So I've, I haven't used the pattern for this bit. I've just done it by eye. But, oh, well. There we go. So as you can see, it's just drawing, sticking and ironing. That's all it is. Oh, it's so fun, isn't it? It's yeah. such a lovely project. Like you say, um, sewing-wise, a confident beginner. If you've done any of your projects before, you're going to absolutely love doing this. Or if you know, you, you're new on your machine, or this is going to be a lovely one for Georgina Dukey to have a go out on a new Dukey, practice the, uh, the, the quilting part of it as well. I'm just deciding how I want his nostrils, or her nostrils. Um, you haven't missed the quilt, by the way. That's coming up at 11 o'clock, the quilt that's behind Delphine. Oh, yes. Say, we're going to say yes to Y seams. Y seams? We're going to be. Me. Yeah, so we're going to say yes to the Y seams okay. today. We can all do them. We're just checking the stock on it, by the way, because I haven't even really sort of mentioned it, but we're limited on the jelly roll that makes it, and it is gorgeous. I mean, look at the prints. There's so much that you can do with a jelly roll, roll isn't there? It's oh, just amazing. Moda jelly roll coming up. We're very, 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 very limited. So everything's on pre-order today. I told you it was going to be a manic day. Um, do make sure you're making the most of that free P and P. Get it home. We're not. We, we've got to think ahead a bit. I mean, we're going to talk about this in in the next hour. Um, of course, with things the way that they are, it's good to just have those things in your stash ready to go even if you're thinking right I'm not going to have time to make it this week or next week or you know but it's something to know that you've got to look forward to in January I saw yeah. lots of people are sort of stockpiling all of your projects uh, I saw on Facebook last night there's a lady who said I've got three still to do but I'm definitely getting Jerry and it's just going Aww. it might not be done until you know a few months time but if it's anything like the Highland Cow or any of the others I don't want you to be disappointed when we we just can't you know keep bringing it back every day we like to bring new things as well so definitely grab this whilst you can 
Christine, I'm so sorry, the, Christ, uh, the, the pattern on its own sold out just not long after nine o'clock, so sorry that you missed that. But um, you can still get it in the bundle, that's the only way of getting it. Sorry, Delphine, back that's to all you. Right. So I've stuck all the pieces down. Uh, so all you'll do now is very simply, you can choose how you're going to sew. Uh, you can zigzag, you can, uh, like I, my, my favourite is blanket stitch, satin stitch or straight stitch, whatever you want to, all the way around each piece and just secure it in place. Now you do want to change your fabric, uh, sorry, your thread ever so slightly. There is a drawing. I like, in fact, have we, how long have we got left? I'll, um, a couple of minutes. A couple of minutes. Uh, and then all you do is... For example, there's some lines that are drawn onto your um, onto the the pattern piece. Okay. There's this one here yeah. and these two lines here and a little mouth. You can do that free motion, or you can just do a straight stitch on your machine and just take your time. You can so you can use a friction pen and draw it on, and then sew the lines on, and then that's that done. So to get the little glitter in the eye, though, if you notice on both cushions, there's a little white of the eye oh, yeah. in each one. So all you need to do with that is take it to your machine and put it on a zigzag stitch and shorten the length of the stitch until as small as it can go. Nice white thread. White thread. And then just do a couple of stitches and then back stitch and then again. And then I think this is where it really finishes it off. It's a very quiet machine, isn't it? Compared to mine at home. Which one's that? Really quiet machine. Is that the five, isn't it? Is yeah, it the five, five six, 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 five, six, six, six. So you'll just do that. You draw your lines on with the darker thread. Oh yes. Quilt it, and the there you go. The eyes now. And then just Love simply it. with an envelope back, very easy. Uh, you know, your two pieces of fabric. Make sure that they overlap at the back. Imagine I've got another one here. Make sure they overlap by about four inches, I'd say, hem each side, all the way around, clip the corners, turn the right way out, and you're done. All of the instructions So are. this one that you've done here with your scrappy binding, Yeah. you haven't actually done a binding? No, fake binding. Love fake it, binding. love it, love it. Yeah. Really lovely and quick. So then you've just sort of stitched around it to make it look like you've done To make it look like I've bind done binding, but no, it's, it's all fake. It looks so good, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it, it, it looks it, really good. So, but there's loads to do that. You could do that to all of them. Oh, gorgeous idea. Uh, we've had so many messages. In fact, we've had loads of pictures of your makes coming oh, through. Oh, lovely. So, Let's have a look. Are you, you, what are you doing for the next hour? What are your plans for the next hour? Do you want to get in a cup of tea and come in and sit yeah, with me? Then. Come yeah. and stay with me because we want to show you all your pictures and have a look at them on air together, if that's all right. We'll have a look now and then um, and we'll have a look at some oh, more in the crikey. next hour. Someone's been busy. Oh, my word. Who's this from? Gemma. Gemma said, congratulations, Vicky. Love Delphine. I love your patterns. These are a few that I've made. You've inspired me to design my own cat. Merry Christmas to you all at Sewing Street and how you have done amazingly well this year. Oh, my word. That's These impressive, are gorgeous. That cat. And look, yeah, your cat looks amazing. Oh, I love them. Love them, love them. The Highland Cow, of course. The, yeah. Different colours as well. We've got people who are asking for orangutans. Someone's yeah. asked for an octopus. An octopus. Someone's asked for a dinosaur. A dinosaur. What type of dinosaur, though? Oh, gosh. I mean, yeah, this, yeah. the, the, the uh, possibilities are endless, they? really they? are, yeah. Don't forget to check out your baskets. You'll see us in just a couple of minutes anyway. We're going to be back. And we've got the quilt coming up at 11, so don't miss that. And we're going to do all things Stash Builders, which is a perfect show to make the most of your free P&P &P today. Don't go anywhere. Check out your baskets using that code VickyPP, and we'll see you right after this. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com.
Christmas is going to be a little bit different this year, but Sewing Street will be here to keep you company from 8am to 12pm on Christmas Day. Help me, John Scott, spread some festive cheer by sending in your Christmas messages for us to play on air on Christmas Day. Whether it's a message to your fellow Sewing Street fans or to a loved one, a video message or text, we want to hear from you. Send your videos, photos and messages to studio at sewingstreet.com by Tuesday the 22nd of December to be included and be a part of Sewing Street's Christmas Day celebrations. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break, uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well and then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it so now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. If you haven't already heard, I've got a surprise and some good news to end the year. I'll be welcoming a new edition of the Sewing Street family into the world in April 2021. So, to spread the joy, we're offering free P&P all day today on Friday the 18th of December until midnight tonight using the code VickyPP. Shop online at www.sewingstreet.com or via the UK Customer Service team on 0800 001 4433 for Sewing Street. Shop online at www.yarnlane.com or via the call centre on 0800 4700 600 for Yarn Lane. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn? bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Christmas is going to be a little bit different this year, but Sewing Street will be here to keep you company from 8am to 12pm on Christmas Day. Help me, John Scott, spread some festive cheer by sending in your Christmas messages for us to play on air on Christmas Day. Whether it's a message to your fellow Sewing Street fans or to a loved one, a video message or text, we want to hear from you. Send your videos, photos and messages to studio at sewingstreet.com by Tuesday the 22nd of December to be included and be a part of Sewing Street's Christmas Day celebrations. If you haven't already heard, I've got a surprise and some good news to end the year. I'll be welcoming a new edition of the Sewing Street family into the world in April 2021. So, to spread the joy, we're offering free P&P all day today on Friday the 18th of December until midnight tonight using the code VickyPP. Shop online at www.sewingstreet.com or via the UK Customer Service team on 0800 001 4433 for Sewing Street. Shop online at www.yarnlane.com or via the call centre on 0800 4700 600 for Yarn Lane. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. It's such an exciting day. Thank you all so much for joining me. Um, a couple of things, just as we've just been looking at some of the messages during the break. Uh, firstly, anybody who wants to use the code 
Vicky PP, you will get free PMP all day. Now, Kat wanted to show you on the screen how how it is exactly what it looks like, but it comes up with Kat's all of her bank details and address. So I say it's probably not best to show it. So what I'm going to do is explain. So once you go to your basket and you click check out, you'll see a little bar that says discount and there's a little chevron that's like a drop down option. So then if you click it where it says discount, it will drop down to a box that will say promo code or discount code. And that's where you type in Vicky PP. Now after that, is there a button that you click cat that says redeem so once you click redeem it will appear on your order that you don't need to pay pmp now for anybody who didn't know the code and has checked out and paid the pmp we can't do anything our side about it but if you call the customer service team they are so lovely and i'm sure they'll take it off for you so don't worry if, if you have done it and you missed the fact that we're doing the free pmp code today it's free to call from uk landline or mobile 0800 it covers uh, yarn lane free pmp as well um do make the most of it make the most of the uh, the free pmp but if you have checked out um without doing the code call the customer service team because they'll be able to help you now honestly we've got a little haberdashery shop going on here delphine's joined me as well thank you Joe, you know, this is really handy because obviously you're getting your sewing room soon i am aren't you? yes and i think it's really good to be able to just have Little bits and bobs stocked up, ready to go. We're going to start with some buttons. And I know that you were saying, actually, I love seeing all of your makes that are then embellished yes. with buttons and things like that. Make, you can make pictures out of a load of buttons. Yeah. You can see bu button pictures. I've seen all sorts. I've seen like clocks and, uh, yeah. you know, like you say, button pictures. There's so much that you can do with them. Right. Which ones do we start with, Kat? There's loads here. Let's go with these uh, nice bright multicolours. I do tend to sort of collect buttons, but they're always the boring ones, you yeah. know, just ones that are off the, off the shirts and things. Whereas getting all lovely bright colours like this, you don't normally just get, do you? You don't always have in your stash. So these are lovely, £5.99. I started when, um, when I was doing my quilting in patchwork classes, it was always to cover mishmash like bad Stick points on base, it, yeah. basically yeah if i was like oh that doesn't look too good i'll put a button on it but also they're great for for all sorts of projects aren't they yeah you can use it on the giraffe even you can put it near the eyes and all the oh, ozy cones or yeah the ozy cones you can just keep saying that now because yeah. you know what, like it is. I know what i'm talking about <laughs> uh these ones um are uh r n z w 32 cat oh there you go you found them um and they are a beautiful selection of sizes, different colours. These are your lovely bright primary colours. Uh, it comes all in a jar, ready to go. We just thought whilst you're getting free postage and packaging today, it's a really good chance to stock up because normally we wouldn't necessarily always bring them to air. Um, or if, if we say, look, they're on the website, make the most of them. Or if, you, uh, if you're thinking, right, I only need some buttons, but it's £3.95 postage normally, would you come in just to purchase buttons? Whereas this is absolutely perfect, isn't it? To be able to get them home with free PMP. In fact, if you've never bought from us before, there were so many people who I just saw message in um, saying that they'd never bought before. I can't find the message now. But somebody messaged in saying it was the first purchase that they've ever made and they made the most of it. Yeah, that's it. Just in my first order, got oh. free PP. It was Haley, lovely Haley. Thank you ever so much for your message. I'm pleased that everybody's making the most of it. It's a good, a really good opportunity to stock up on things like this. Uh, we've also got these beautiful bright colours, FRZW47. We've got blues, purples, greens. This hour, by the way, it's not very often that we um, that we get Delphine. Uh, we just said, come and stay with us instead of sitting in the office. Just come and sit with us. So, uh, if you've got any photographs of any Delphine's makes, maybe you've embellished with buttons, if you've got any questions for her, get them in, get them in, get them in. My love is a plea case, Suzanne said, I ordered the kit. When it comes to quilting to the, 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 the giraffe, how do you get that effect? Is a question we've had from Suzanne. So, uh, well, I did it in two different ways. So one of them you can just, uh, that style plane effect, just moving it around. And the only th uh, thing I would say is just try not to um, overlap your stitches. Mm -hmm. So, and it's very easy to do that. It's almost like you're playing a game with yourself by just moving it around. And then you see the stitches, you just go away from it. Or the, the ones where we did the round, um, 
that, there must be a name for the pattern on the giraffe, mustn't there? But you know what I mean. Like yeah, yeah. Just doing circles very slowly, and then stop, and then go in the other way, and then stop, and then go the other way. But when I say stop, you you want to keep the consistent going through the free motion. You want it to all be around the same speed. So don't just stop it um, clear, but just have a, have a, 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 an idea in your mind about where you're going to go to next. The best thing to do, don't panic about it. Just be just be calm and just move it around and slowly and have a practice first. But it's just drawing circles. Circles. You make it sound so easy, don't you? I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong. It's so freeing, isn't it, free motion? Yeah, it I'll is very it. liberating indeed. You're very good at it. I've seen you do yeah. it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I learned from you. I learned from you. This is... Um, MD is a W29, which is your pastels. How pretty are these? Baby. Baby colours. <laughs> Love them. £5.99. Remember, with free P and P. Uh, use the code VickyPP. Glennis, did you say. Right, you, my name uh, is V I C K I P P. It says it won't accept V I C C. You need to put V I C K I P P. If you have any problems, message in or speak to the customer service team because they're great. They really, really are. They're fantastic at helping. So please, please do make the most of it whilst uh, whilst you can. It's only for today. We've also got the reds, nice bright reds. I'm under strict instruction that we've got to fly through all of these because we've got so much on the desk to go through. Um, again, brilliant buttons. These are JQZW78. I think on the website, they look more pink. They're definitely um, red. These would be nice for your elf. They would be. I Did was you thinking you, that. You didn't see him the other day. He'd been on a wild night out. <laughs> and he was um, looking a bit worse for wear on the shelf, wasn't he? He was looking a bit worse for wear. We, um, oh, There's yeah, been elves see... everywhere, isn't there? All over. I've been really impressed with some of the elves, and we've got to see it in my favourite colourway a couple of times. As oh, well. good. Yeah, yeah, we didn't get we didn't get to make it up, no. in there, did we, on the show? Do send in your pictures. Have you got any uh, naughty elves in your home? Have you made up Delphine's elf? Thank you. Cat says they are coming through. Yeah. I'm just making them into PowerPoint presentations for everybody. Five ninety nine for your red buttons. How does it feel sitting over there? It feels really strange. I can see Cat and it just, obviously, it's just really odd. And like, yeah. But it's, yeah. I know they distract you, don't they? I get to there? sit down. No, it's quite nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah, it's actually forcing me to actually sit up straight because I am a sloucher. So it's, it's forced me to, like. Yeah, I have that all the time. I always watch myself back and I'm thinking, why don't you just sit up straight? I know, I need to. <laughs> I know, Elliot does tell me, am I sit up straight? Stop slouching. Can't help it. Um, We've also got the white. We've got white, green and purple. White already very, very popular indeed. Already checking out. These are going to be ideal for loads of projects, actually. I'm thinking yeah. you could even do, you know, with the cushions, embellishing. In the corner. Yeah, yeah, in the corners and uh, also uh, for the cathedral windows and things like that. That's a really nice colour because it's going to go with everything, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, see, these would look beautiful. If you just want to put a few buttons just embellishing, Look lovely, and you said you can make pictures. I mean, that—that that was why I was thinking earlier. You know, if there, if uh, a new baby yeah. or a christening or something like that, just get in a piece of uh, calico or something like that, and then arrange them into like a heart or a cot. Oh yeah, would look really nice or a star. Put that in a frame. What a lovely gift! Oh, and gorgeous. just what? What's that? Five, yeah, six quid for a yeah. Button. That's it. And I mean, you you've go. got loads in there. You're going to be able to do lots of different pictures. Five pounds and 99 pence. Um, Anne said, how do we send in pictures? Studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. I'll show you on the uh, on the screen there. Um, Anne, we'd love to see your pictures. Studio at sewingstreet.com. If you've got any of Delphine's pictures that you want to show her, please, please, please get them in and we'll show them this hour. Also, needle felting we're going to bring back in 2021, aren't we? Yeah, any ideas? I've got a couple. But okay. Yeah. Any needle felting ideas, you're thinking? Any, anything. Right. Yeah. yeah. We're saying I'd like to do some sort of spring theme. I know yeah. we did the beautiful autumn ones, didn't we, before? It'd be nice to do a spring theme. So spring flowers. Yeah. So I'm thinking snowdrops, daffodils. Daffodils, yeah. Is it crocuses? Crocuses. crocuses. Yeah, they'd be yeah. beautiful as well. We've got the greens. And lots of different shades of green as well. So if you're thinking of a certain colour and you want to match it in with certain colours. Uh, I, I once saw, in fact, I think it's on um, Pinterest or Etsy or somewhere like that. I think it's Pinterest. Um, there was something stupid like 
300 ways of using buttons. I mean, you can make wow. hair bubbles, headbands, yeah. brooches, jewellery. You can use them for all sorts, can't you? Loads of different ways. You could do a Rebecca Reed, customise your uh, any uh, boring cardigans you've got in the in the cupboard instead of just changing a couple of buttons and putting a bit of fabric on a frill or the yeah, placket. The multicoloured ones, just to chop all yeah. your buttons off your cardigan, a plain grey cardigan, How and then replace cupboard? them with a different coloured button. People, it would look really expensive and yeah. really posh, and all you've done is change a few. Oh buttons. well, whenever Rebecca Reed comes in, she always uh, sort of uh, yeah, she gets all the compliments because she's always changing up and upcycling. She's a clever lady, she's isn't she? Absolutely. But you know, we've all got those cardigans that we've worn to death and had it in the, the cupboard for years and years and you think, actually, do you know what? I'm going to give it a new lease of life. I'm all for upcycling at the moment. Zhuzh it up a bit, Elliot said. We've also got the purples. This is the last of the buttons. Just thought I'd let you know because it's not very often that we get to do shows like this where we're offering free postage and packaging just willy-nilly all day. All ready for Christmas. Are you ready for Christmas, Delphine? No. 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 Nowhere near, actually. I'm not surprised with the amount of <laughs> designing. Too busy. You've been <laughs> very busy. My kitchen's not food. It's still, I'm still sewing in the kitchen at the moment, but luckily it's nice and big. But uh, I've just, uh, no, I'm nowhere near ready. Oh. I'll get there. I'm one of these people, though. I don't stress about things like that. I mean, it's going to happen. I will have all the presents wrapped eventually. Yeah. I will have all the food and I will who, have all the Who does the cooking? Do you do the cooking? I'm the cook. Oh. Yeah, I'm the cook. Nick's are good at washing up, though. Right. But, uh, oh, no, I don't let anyone near my cooker. <gasps> no. Oh. <laughs> so you haven't you haven't done your food shop or anything? No. I've ordered my meat at the butchers and I've ordered my bread from the bakers. Oh. That's it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm not ready at all either. I'm not ready. You're a bit more organised than me. Uh, £5.99. These are for your beautiful purples. Lots of different colours. Look at that one. It looks like a little smiley face, doesn't it? It's like a robot. <laughs> Amazing. Right, so buttons. Another thing I think is really, really useful in your stash. Ribbons. And these ribbons are beautiful. Um, we've got them in... Uh, We've got them in the reds, we've also got them in the brights. The reds are lovely and I'm thinking Valentine's mm. coming up round the corner. Just how pretty are these? Again, to be able to embellish. You can, you, again, I, I, was it uh, lovely Alison who did the, the ribbon? Yeah, she did. Yeah, I Rib love, see it again, I yeah, love doing art. that. Yeah, I'd love, I'd love to uh, have, a, have a, yeah, you know what I'm like with the, my hand stitching yeah. and things like that. And, uh, but you can do so many different things with them, tying them in different knots and bows, and again, making pictures or add, like you said, into your cardigans, making things look pretty. That's a really good idea. Or even using as a bit of um, binding or piping. As yeah. Well. Absolutely. Top of bunting, maybe, yeah. or, you know, yeah, just to embellish. £6.99, and pence, and you get a metre on each. So you've got your snowflakes, you've got your hearts, you've got your spots, you've got your gingham. Um, they are 10 mil, 10 millimetre in width and a metre long. We've also got the lovely bright ones. And what I love about these is it almost looks like it's got the sort of stitched lines through as well got plenty of colors all of the colors of the rainbow and as we said actually if you did enjoy Alison Marion's uh, ribbon embroidery show this would be lovely for that mm. I was just straining to look over at you there you can and see, on, can the see on the screen there you go <laughs> high tech here all the screens Very it's clever. exactly the same Duffin you just literally I know, a few but it seems like I'm in a different room it's ever so strange <laughs> oh I'm on the split screen as well <laughs> look at that <laughs> you're in the box now you're in the box now Duffin <laughs> 6.99, 6.99, right, so something that we always get asked about is these recycled polythene pellets. If you're doing things like um, door stops, if you're doing uh, toys even, I like them to have yeah. a weighty bottom. The, uh, the gnomes. gnomes, yeah, or anything like you're gonna let dangle over the shelf or something like that. Yeah. So, you know, if you've got the elf pattern and you've not used, not made it yet, that's ideal to put in these little boots. Right, perfect. Yeah. And these are recycled as well. These are your recycled polythene pellets. You get a whole kilogram, and do you know what you normally do when you go to the post office? You put them on the scales and then they tell you how much you're going to pay um, in postage. It's free P&P today. This is why it's brilliant. Days like this to stock up on your polythene pellets. £5.99. I saw somebody using, making themselves a little funnel as well to put them in instead of getting in a Yeah, because I, I got them everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> little tip, try and use a bit of a funnel to put them into your into um, into a pouch. Uh, just £5.99 for a whole kilogram of your recycled polythene pellets. 
This is what we're doing this hour. We just thought we'd do something a bit different, a bit of a haberdashery shop. Um, everything that you might need. Something that we always talk about, but we sort of always sort of say, oh, they're on the website if you want it. It's toy stuffing. Um, always really handy to have. I mean, it's £3.99, so if I'm honest, airtime is very expensive. So it's not very often that it'll either come to air. They're always there on the website, but we thought with free P&P today, anybody who wants to stock up on bits and bobs like this, it's a perfect time. Delphine, you use a lot of toy stuff, Always don't get you? it. Uh, again, I don't wait until the next project. I always make sure that I've just got plenty of that in because, you, yeah. You, and you don't just use it for toys either. You know, like things like your little hanging hearts. I like to make those. Yeah. When you lavender, you put your lavender bag. So yeah, yeah you always need that. Oh, good idea. Yeah. In fact, who was it that we were on with the other day and they had toy stuffing in, um, oh, I can't remember, but it was almost like for a bit of, do you know when you've got a quilt and it's got the trapunto, it's got the sort of volume to it? Yes, well, you do a little bit of a cheap trapunto. Yeah. Yes, I've done a bit of that before. Like, say, if you get a bit of a plique, like, yeah. say, let's, for example, a heart, and yeah. you want to make it look like trapunto, uh, you'll cut out an applique heart, so round it, like you would like you did the giraffe, just sew all the way around the edge and right at the very end, stuff it with a bit of toy stuffing, sew it, sew it down, it looks really like you've done a bit of chipunto. You yeah. can get away with that. Nice. Yeah, that would look I'll really I'll do that good. next time. <laughs> £3.99. pence. So there you go. You've got your lovely, super, super soft toy, uh, toy stuffing. This is like top tips with Delphine as well. We don't normally get to do shows like this. So um, get questions in for her. Get questions in. Right, so your polywadding, you were saying, actually, this is what's going to be really ideal for your cushions. Yep. If, you'd, um, if you do get the, the, the Jerry Giraffe cushion, which so many mm. of you have, and you need some sort of wadding to practice your free motion, this is ideal. I wouldn't, ideal. I wouldn't use it for a quilt wadding. No. But it's perfect for cushions. It's perfect for cushion because it holds that... Because uh, when you, you've got a cushion and it's on the sofa and it's being bashed around, so you want it to hold it weight if you like mm -hmm. and it's really durable as well really lovely to sew with nice this is your yeah. premium polyester craft wadding um, and it's a really lovely size as well it's a hundred um, it, it's, it's a meter basically a meter piece for four pounds and 99 pence there's lots of different waddings on the website we're obviously not going to get chance to do all of the waddings this hour but have a good look through because there's lots of waddings there's h640 i believe on there as well we've got a couple of other different interfacings we've got well i say interfacings we've got the fusible foam can we do that next the starville Starville is this one, which is great for bag making. And it does have the adhesive on the, the back as well. So it, you're going to be able to just stick this with your iron straight onto your fabric and it will give you great uh, body stability. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, if you're making uh, um, something like a, if you're making something like a, a storage box or a storage bag or a, a bag that you want it to stand upright, Otherwise, it will fall and flop down. This just springs back up. It really holds its shape, doesn't it? Yeah, so obviously I know we've missed, missed the boat for it now, but for Christmas, but you know when you make the Christmas sacks, not like um, the drawstring ones, but the ones like a bucket. Yeah. Yeah, and like you say, fill it all with presents and it won't give. Yeah, that's perfect fall over. this. And you can still sew through it absolutely yeah, fine, can't easily. You? Very easily. It, even though it's quite dense, it's really nice to sew through as well. So £6.99 gets you a piece like this. Um, now, you can always join them together, I suppose, can't you, easily? We've got, we've got the tape. You can, you've got that um, quilter's tape, haven't yeah, you? You can yeah. stick them together and you can't even tell. So, like me, I, I, when I'm um, doing anything with waddings or quilting or anything, you, you have lots of, bit of, lots of pieces, mm -hmm. so you can stick them all together and you won't even know it's lots of different pieces. Absolutely. Uh, this is your Starville Fix, which is an official Visaline product. Um, and it's really, really lovely quality. Once again, there's a lot of the sewing foams that don't have the adhesive, so it's definitely worth stocking up at that, especially if you're a bag maker. What was that, sorry? Ah, oh, Elliot's loving this show. He says he's learning a lot with you oh. being here. He obviously doesn't oh, learn very much with me here, but it's, um, he said, Daffy, I love this show. I'm just muttering on, though. I'm just... It's good to yeah. know what your intake of what you're using for. Right, so we wanted to show Daffy some of the photographs, because in the last hour, we didn't get chance to, and there's a lot of people who've been messaging in. So keep your pictures coming in, and we'll show Daffy on. This is from 
Jill. Uh, Jill has said, hi, Vicky and Delphine. Congratulations, Vix. Thank you, Jill. She says, this is my stag wall hanging that Delphine designed. She said, I just won a Christmas craft competition with it. Oh, fantastic. That's Amazing. brilliant. Well done. It looks That's so lovely. gorgeous. Really lovely. We've had loads come through. This is another one. Congratulations, Vicky and Delphine. Oh, thank you. She says, congrats, Vix um, and Delphine. Uh, this is my wall hanging, which is the stag that Delphine designed, uh, or the unicorn. It's absolutely amazing. She says, I won at the Christmas... Um, oh, hang on. This is wrong, Kat. You've done too much copying and pasting. I think that was the last one. Hi, Delphine. Made the unicorn as a floor cushion for my goddaughter for Christmas and did two matching cushions and a duvet set. I've enlarged to 200%, so you can do wow. it. Uh, she said, thanks for the inspiration. I love the patterns. That is amazing. You can that see how is. big it is, it's actually. Huge. Look, you can see the, the hands behind. It's a big one. That's She's, good to know that, that you can that, do yeah, that. Yeah, that's lovely. It it's the first really time well. I've seen it enlarged, actually. That's really lovely. Oh, amazing. Uh, this is from June. Oh, I love this, love June. That. Hi, I love Delphine's pattern. Use a smaller position template. And this will be a four-sided box to tidy my shower uh, my shower room up. Oh, that's lovely. I love the, uh, the green and the sky. That's really pretty. That's a really good idea, yeah, isn't it? really. Nice idea to use as your background. Thank you ever so much, June. Keep your messages and your pictures oh. coming in. Oh. They still are, but here's more. Pauline, um, she says, congratulations, thank you. She says, uh, try now, first try, now on my third, love these patterns. Uh, do you know, I think a lot of people are just going to keep doing all these uh, Highland cows. I know, it's, uh, they're everywhere, they're taking over them, aren't they? Are they on the website? Oh, oh, look at that <gasps> one. Oh, Kath, oh, this is amazing. Um, Kath, this is amazing. She says, morning to you all. Great news, Vicky. I had, uh, I had an idea you were expecting a while ago. She said, I ordered Jerry at the Highland Cow and the Highland Cow this morning, so it must be on the website to complete my family of Delphine's patterns. Got to, get, got to collect them all, haven't we? Uh, she says, I've done the tiger for Christmas presents and I forgot to take a photo of it, but here's one of uh, Ella waiting to be appliqued. I absolutely love it. She said, Merry Christmas, everybody. Regards from Kat in not so sunny Bridlington. That is amazing that as is. well. Merry Christmas. Make sure you send me a picture of uh, when you've finished uh, sewing yeah. it. And Anne has also sent in this picture. Anne, honestly, these colours are gorgeous. I like these little, like, like lots of different purples and blues. That's lovely. And your free motion looks great as well. Yeah. Very, very good. Thank you ever so much, Anne. <gasps> well done. A clever bunch, aren't they? It's exciting. I love that. I just, th 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 I, it's like I said to you in the office, this is what it's all about for me, seeing, you know, just taking my, what's in my imagination and uh, you're doing it. So, love it. Well done. Ah, oh, thank you. Keep me coming in. Uh, right, so. I've never had the chance to do Decaville on um, on the show. This is brilliant, brilliant for bag bases, for um, anything that's structured. I think my mum used this to make some pelmets in a in a bedroom as well. I'm sure she used this with some wadding. Um, they will come pre-cut into one metre pieces, one metre by 90 centimetres. But I'm just looking to see. It looks as though, I've not seen it before, but I think it's got an adhesive on the back, uh, on the back as well. Yeah, I think nice. it's got a bit of a yeah, shiny... it's got a bit of a shimmer to it, yeah. A shimmer to it, but it is great, again, to give you um, structured bags. Just £17.99. pence. It's always good to just have, as I say, in your stash. You're getting a whole metre piece there for less than 18 pounds. I think we got this in for some of Debbie Shaw's makes. I think we uh, we got this in, yeah, we did. We got this in for some of Debbie Shaw makes, which have been very, 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 very popular indeed. 17.99 for your Decaville. We're already at half past cat. We've got so much that we need to do. Um, we knew that this would happen. It is busy, busy today. Don't forget in the next hour, it's already on pre-order by the way. Uh, the jelly roll that it's been made with is sold out. Oh. Well done if you managed to get it. The book, by the way, somebody was asking about the pattern. It comes from a book, The Joy of Jelly Rolls by Pam and Nikki Lintot, um, which, oh no, it's not by Pam and Nikki Lintot, is it? It's Carolyn. Do you know, I think all jelly roll quilts are obviously Pam and Nikki Lintot. They do do a lot of jelly yeah. roll quilts. Carolyn. Um, the Soline glue pen we have in stock. I have been waiting for this for so long. Uh, there's been so much going on today because otherwise on a normal day, I would have told you about this first thing at eight o'clock this morning. Have you used the Soline glue pen before, Delphine? I've used it a little bit with EPP. 
EPP yeah. is really handy for. Uh, that's that is what we sort of started um, what we started using it for. But then bag makers using it to put in zips for things like that, yeah. zips in cushions as mm. well. Lovely Kerry from Living in Loveliness absolutely loves this. Now, I must say, I have tried, and I know a lot of people at home who are thinking, do you know what, I've got a craft glue in my, like a Pritt stick or something in the cupboard. It's definitely worth investing in the right tools for the job. The reason being, because this is a temporary glue, it is especially uh, designed for, for fabrics and sewers. It dries completely clear. It will not gunk up your needle on your machine or if you're hand stitching. For EPP, it's great because it will hold your fabric in position, but then it's easy to sort of take your cards out when you need to. It dries completely clear. This one I think is in a, I don't know what color this one is, but they, they're all nice bright colors, but they dry completely clear. So you get not only your Soline glue pen, you also get your refill. And trust me, they are very, very useful. Very useful. You'll find this is useful for lots of different projects. And the fact that we've got it back in stock, let alone with free postage and packaging, is very exciting. I actually think we probably use all of Soline stock. We tend to get them in in the hundreds and they disappear. Um, so if you do use the code VickyPP, you'll be able to get it back in. And I don't think I've ever done this. Not only is the glue pen in stock, the refills are in stock as well. Well done for grabbing these. Um, go on then, Kat. How much did you pay during lockdown for your refills online? Because we were out of stock. So Kat paid on a very famous website on Amazon. <laughs> Three pounds a tube. Three pounds a tube plus delivery. So she paid nine pounds plus delivery for three tubes. But you'd got to that point, hadn't you? You got to that point where she was desperate. She was like, I need my glue refills, my EPP is calling. Um, so here you've got your, your pink, your blue, um, and your yellow, but they dry completely clear. These are all of your refills. In fact, just so you know, if you've got the prim glue pen, these fit in there as well, don't they? Yep. Yep. Kat's got the prim glue pen, but she's got these refills. I know that people stock up on these, uh, you know, Hannah, our producer Hannah, she buys 10 of these in a go. It's definitely worth making the most of it. Six pounds and 99 pence. That aircon's just kicked it in, has, hasn't it? Yeah. Like all of a sudden, <laughs> I was thinking, there's a dress hanging up like there, that. and it's <laughs> <laughs> just 6.99. We also have the EPP hexes, do we? Yes, we do. We do, we do, we do. The Fabby's hexes. I didn't know that you do EPP as well, I, I dabble, Delphine. I dabble. Yeah, I've done a bit. Do a bit of everything, yeah. don't you? I like EPP. It's one of those um, things that I like to do if I haven't got if I haven't got anything else to do, so I don't do it very often. <laughs> but uh, Hexy EPP is my first EPP that I actually did. I, 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 I like hand sewing, so I quite like sewing them all together. I know a lot of people yeah. who aren't very good at just sitting and watching the telly without doing something with their hands, so quite a lot of people who have EPP projects just there at the yeah. side of the sofa, and it, just to mindlessly stitch them. It's good to get you off a phone, you know, just yeah. put, it, put it in a different room, put something good on Netflix, on the telly, put one of those, uh, you know, a bit of EPP, glass of wine, rock and roll on a Friday night in my house. <laughs> <laughs> I know, we were talking about this. Um, we've let Delphine play with the uh, add a quarter rulers this Friday night. Yeah. That's your Friday night rock and roll treat. It is, I'm weekend. excited. That's me tonight, yeah. Yes. Um, so these are 100 Fabby laser cut. Don't get me wrong. Look, yes, you can cut your own, but you'd have to buy the card. And for the, the time that it would take and the precision that you get from Fabby's at $5.99, now that you don't have postage and packaging to pay today, why not? You get 100 of these and they are one inch hexes, which, as you say, actually, you can then explore with lots of different shapes, but hexes are a great one to start it's with. It's a good start with. And these aren't too fiddly, this size. No, I mean, and you look, see, there is a little Y seam in there, so you get to practice a bit of those as well. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's, and it's also uh, good for using for your scraps as well. Because, you know, when you were saying on the last hour when I was on and um, what you're doing with all your, your offcuts, you don't throw them away and it's, it's hard to throw them away. But no, just put a little bit of glue on it, stick it to a piece of paper, leave it to one side and then in the evening, sit and do a bit of sewing. Well, even with your two and a half inch strips, all yeah. of the, the, the jelly rolls or design rolls that you've, you've managed to get, these are going to be ideal for that. Yeah. Any of the pre-printed panels that we had in the first hour, those beautiful Hello Poppet ones, just to be able to do some EPP. And it doesn't need to be big quilts either, does it? No. You can just use them, even a plique. I'd make one, like just a simple project, like do about seven or eight and make them into, into a little flower, a plique <laughs> and a cushion. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a really lovely idea. £5.99. 
Don't forget the code Vicky PP, V I C K I P P, if you do want to use that free PP code today. Um, right now, best press. When you're working with um, bias edges, in fact, you know what? I put this in my home iron to do my ironing now because it does just give you a really lovely crisp, crisp finish yeah. when you're pressing, doesn't uh -huh. it? And again, if you're working with anything that you uh, anything that's been cut on a bias, always give it a spray with that so okay. it stops it stretching in your machine. Right. Oh, okay, that's good. That's yeah. a good tip as well. It stops it from warping. So this is your lovely big bottle of Mary Ellen's Best Press. Don't get me wrong, I love lavender and I really love the linen scent, but some people don't like to have the different Well, if you're scents. pregnant and you don't like certain smells at the moment, you might just want it. <laughs> oh gosh, there was a certain smell in here this morning, wasn't there? We had to, even, it wasn't just me being oversensitive with my sensitive nose. Yeah, we, were we had to air it out today. I was wondering why the door was wide yeah, open. Yeah, the doors and windows were open at <laughs> six o'clock this morning. We're like, what is that smell? But yeah, you do have, you, I, do, I have. That's one re really strange thing, actually, is that my sense of smell has heightened a which, lot. Which is, there a smell that you can't stand at all? Um, just things like if you don't empty the bin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just the not very smell. nice smells. Yeah. I haven't got to the point where I'm like, oh, I hate the smell of, you know, chocolate or anything like that oh no who could take this one of chocolate <laughs> but no i actually really like lavender and i love the linen scent but if you do want scent free then this is perfect it's not going to unlike other starch sprays out there it's not going to leave any flaking or any clogging it doesn't leave white flakes on darker fabric it gives you a really lovely fine mist it's not going to soak your fabric it's got a really lovely sprayer in fact if you manage to get the early bird then this would be a nice add-on as well. Um, if you've got the early bird, which is your iron, yeah, you can absolutely give it a spritz uh, on your fabric before. Um, then this is ideal to, 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 to use, of course, in conjunction with your iron. Um, just £11.99 for anybody that missed the early bird today. It is amazing. Lots of people are still joining us this morning. Thank you ever so much for your company. If you missed the early bird special, it is a brilliant one today. Uh, it's not very often that Hayley, who's our head of TV, will ring an email and audio note and WhatsApp, every form of communication over the last couple of days to make sure that I know. Don't get me wrong, me and Hayley, we were always chatting back and forth, but there was a lot of focus on, have you seen what you've got as your early bird? Have you seen it? Have you seen it? No, seriously, you've got to make sure um, everybody knows how good of a deal this is. It's 26 .99. And you were saying earlier on, Delphine, that with, um, you got some, oh no, no, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Dad and I knew I had Delphine. I'll, I'll just scrape it off. <laughs> Sorry. Um, is it off or is it on? Is it, it's not the, uh, the, 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 the nostril that I lost, is it? No. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it probably it is. is. It is the nostril that you lost. Um, it's a steam mine as well, though. It, it is ideal for your applique projects, isn't it? 100%. Like I said, it stops things moving around because things do move around if you're um, in applique. So, uh, and also you can lift it up and just use the corner just yeah. to stick it down so you know it's not going to... Um, move around so just by using the tip first to give it a bit of a press and then put the iron on the top for anybody who's um sort of opening their, their their seams and things like that this is absolutely ideal without having to get your big iron out i had one similar um before i got the prim one which by the way the prim one's 40 pounds it's 39.99 and we will bring it back to air this is an absolute bargain um it's got the little feet as well so it stands up right it's got a really li nice long cord which tidies away with the little clip it's got a steam on steam off button it's got your temperature gauge it's also um got the little gap here which you take off and put your water in it comes with a little jug it also comes with a great hard travel case this is ideal isn't it for those of you that are taking it on the move this is so good and when we start going back to classes and things like that are you going to be doing some classes in the new year uh, and hopefully um at the moment obviously we just don't really know i have i did have a few things penciled in which have unfortunately been cancelled but as soon as soon as we're allowed to definitely yeah. and yeah oh I, honestly yeah. i love going to classes i can't wait to go to delphine's it's going to be brilliant we should all we can all go can't we all in the you. new year all of us can all go it'd be really lovely um but it's brilliant that it comes with that hard case lots of people still asking about the email address to send photos in i'll show you again it's studio at sewingstreet.com get your photos in to show delphine if you've got 
Um, any of her makes, Kat's saying there's so many that have come in. She's busy, busy, busy oh, doing lots of PowerPoints. I can her. see her, she's concentrating. I can just see her eyes. <laughs> if anybody who has checked out and not added the code in and now thinking, ah, I could have got free PMP, call the customer service team. We can't do anything from our end, um, but they can. Just say, just say really nicely, please, can you take my PMP off? And I'm sure that they will do it, no problem. Um, if you call the number on your screen there, 0800 001 4433, they will be able to help you with any of your um, PMP questions. Uh, right, elastic. This is a nice chunky elastic, actually. We've got two different uh, widths. We've got 32 and we've got 40 millimeter elastic. Let's go with the thicker one first. This is a nice wide elastic. In fact, 199. Do you know what? We wouldn't be bringing this to air ordinarily because it's 199. Um, the fact is, if I'm being honest, I wouldn't tell anybody to come in and get um, an elastic for 199 when you have to pay your 395 PMP if that was oh. solely the, the item that you wanted. Whereas this is a no-brainer. To be able to get it with free postage and packaging as well, items like this, you can, um, you can absolutely stock up on. So that's your 40 millimetre elastic. You get a whole metre of it. You had a nice cup of tea <laughs> delivered to you. I just had a lovely coffee delivered to you. Oh, there you go. Lucky. Yeah, I'm that's Hayley B. Hayley B. Oh, thank you, Hayley. Isn't she kind? I'm OK, lovely. thank you. No, no, I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you. Um, no, thank you. They're asking me everything now. Do you want one of this? Do you want this? Do you want this? No, thank you. Uh, we've also got the 32 millimeter width, which is, again, £1.99. Did you have any weird cravings, Delphine, when you were pregnant? Yeah, but a really bad one. <laughs> oh, you told me this before. We, I don't know. It depends which child. Did uh, you tell me about a bath mat? No, that wasn't me. No, that was with Kerry. Oh, was it Kerry who told me that yeah. she liked to chew bath mats? No, I didn't know. No, I didn't. Do, no, mine was just <laughs> naughty, as in like calorie-wise. But I once ate a whole large Domino's pizza to myself in about five minutes. I'm not joking. I inhaled it. Oh, I don't know. I'm not pregnant. <laughs> that's just uh, so yeah, it was, pizza, it was pizza and, I, and bolognese. It was either my own homemade bolognese. Couldn't eat anybody else's spaghetti bolognese. And Nick was away a lot when I was pregnant with Charlie. And I think I had bolognese every day for about three weeks. <laughs> but that's all I, I could, do. Love all a I could bolognese. Eat. Yeah, bolognese and a whole large Domino's pizza. Yeah, I'm not proud of that. <laughs> Susie messaged, though, saying that she loved eating coal like it was coal. cake. Coal is a thing. Ice cubes is a thing. My sister ate uh, ice, ice cubes. cubes. Yeah, yeah, my friends had that as well. I'm pleased I haven't had strange things. Elliot's friends like to chew sponges. That must be similar oh. to the whole um, bath mat thing, like mm. rubber. I've heard once somebody licking the, the, the uh, dirt off potatoes. Oh, God. You know when you get them in a bag? No, but that's not good. You're supposed to wash all your fruit and veg, I know, but you? I mean, that wasn't me. Mine was just pizza and <laughs> spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> right, where are we going now, Kat? Oh, let's look at some more pictures with Delphine. So, Bev has said, hi, Vix. Congratulations. Wonderful news. Oh, thank you ever so much, Bev. She just said, hi, Delphine. Hello. This is my first try at free motion. Oh, my word. You've done amazing. Uh, she said, I had a ball. She said, I bought uh, two more uh, to do next year. Uh, she says, that they'll be off to New Zealand. Wow. You're going oh, well. What? That's amazing. I love yeah. that your, uh, all your mates are going to New Zealand. That's fantastic. I do love those, um, the wall hangings. They're gorgeous. And this one, yeah, have yes. a look, have a look. What do you think? That Sharon? is beautiful. Oh, she said it's a work in progress. She said it's the, uh, the tiger pattern, the, Sasha, the Tasha pattern. She said it's the Highland Cow next. Love the pattern. Merry that Christmas. That is beautiful colours. Is that the lipstick street. cake, I think? It looks like it, yeah. doesn't it? And it's nice in the grey background, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's really lovely. It's really very arty. It looks massive, actually, doesn't they, it? They that are, design? but they are quite big, they aren't are they? They are big quilts. Yeah. <gasps> Incredible. Lindsay, thank you for your picture. Hi, Vix and Delphine. Here is my Ella. Uh, I used the placemat sheet um, to, trace, to trace from, so it was an ideal size for a cushion. They're lovely fabrics as well, aren't they? Those colours are lovely I together. love the, the, the trunk, the, uh, all the blues. Is it, it, it almost flawed, isn't it? I think. Yeah, it is. That's adorable. beautiful. Oh, we love that. 
Lindsay, thank you so much for sending in your photographs. Keep them coming in and we'll show, uh, we'll show that feed. Here's another one from Christine. Christine said, hi again, girls. She says, everybody loves my t-shirt idea. Just wanted to, uh, to share something. I washed it at 30 degrees and it still looks amazing. If it frays, um, it will add to the hair effect. Absolutely, yeah. I love the fray. She said, um, I'm so proud of it. L lots, uh, lots of love from Christine. Thank you ever so much, Christine. It looks great on the top, doesn't it? It does, yeah. I think I saw that on before. I was really impressed with it. I remember commenting on a on a page. It was just something so different. And I love a plique after oh, it's been um, oh, wow. after it's Someone's been Someone's been busy. <laughs> this is Barb. Hi, Barb. She said, "Congratulations, Vicky. Lovely news. Oh, thank you." She said, "Just what we need." Um, uh, we've also. She's also been making eight of these pesky elves. She says they're all finished now and given away. And again, look how different with they're the hair. They're lovely. Yeah, they're so beautiful. I love the all the different coloured booties on the left. She's giving matching. them noses, lovely big ears, gorgeous hair. You must have oh. a lot of patience. <laughs> well, wasn't it somebody who messaged in saying that they'd made? Um, 50 gnomes for a 50th wedding oh, anniversary. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think they've got a fear of gnomes after that now, though. Um, final one for now, and we'll show some more in a bit. Uh, morning, ladies. I'm not sure who this one's from. We'll have a look, look back through. Um, here's my very first attempt at a plique. Oh, brilliant. She says, I used furniture fabric samples that I'd collected uh, when I was looking for a new sofa. Great That's idea. That's a good idea. Very innovative. That's what we like. Ups, ups, uh, what do you Upcycling. say? Upcycle. Upcycle. Yeah. Absolutely. And I always say about tartan, don't I? I'm very drawn you to these You actually tartans. said about tartan, the very, when it was back in the old studio, because yeah. I think there were some red tartans. You said, what about doing it on that? And the next thing you know, someone was doing it. That's from Barbara. Barbara, that is amazing. It well looks done. really lovely with all those colours, especially for a Highland cow. Perfect. Thank you ever so much. We'll get, to, we'll show some more in a bit. Um, so we were talking about doing a bit of slow stitching and hand sewing. Uh, do you tend to finish off any of your binding by hand? Yes, if it's something, uh, a, a real special project, then I do, because um, I also do a few um, commissions and things I will always do by hand. I think it just gives it that really professional, tidy finish. Yeah. Yeah. With, the, with the year that we've had, I think it's... Um, it, I mean, we spend a lot of time on our machines or you spend a lot of time, you know, running around doing this, that and the other. And it's nice sometimes, like you say, to sit down and just do a bit of slow stitching and hand sewing. And yeah. ha these hand needles, you've got all of the different sizes from five to ten. Um, you're embroidering coral needles. Nice big eyes on them as well. It's a good chance to stock up, especially at these prices. $1.99. One pound ninety nine for your hemline needles. They're always on the website. They are always on the website. So it's definitely worth noting that if ever you purchase anything um, with us normally, it's only one p and p on a normal day. Today it's free p and p. But even on days where we're doing normal postage and packaging, it's worth going through on the website and, and having a look for, de for things like this. Um, Kate says, I'm just loving the style of this show. She said it's so relaxed and enjoyable. Uh, it is, isn't it? It is. It's just like having my friend in the living room. I love it. It's good to know Delphine's take on things as well. She said, here's her craving. She says, my craving when carrying my son, who is now... 23 was sherry <gasps> she said um, i had to be really careful i oh, know i'm not surprised they, because they've changed all of the different sort of things now they suggest you drink not like Nothing, zero alcohol at all, at all. Yeah. and my mum was saying when she was pregnant like they said you could have a glass of wine once a week yeah. or something but I, everything's I, yeah and they used to have like ashtrays next to your bed oh. in hospitals years ago you know oh, can you imagine? So I, ha I remember having an ice cream and mr whippy when i was pregnant with charlie people like you can't eat that and mr whippy ice cream and so i was put things like that yeah they've said that now changed. you can't have um soft ice cream soft cheese anything yeah. um but yes she says by the way the mini iron is superb she says i've had mine for two years now and use it every day it is absolutely brilliant thank you kate it is the early bird today amanda said her craving was was what pumice stone like what you did put on your feet oh no not in your mouth Sure. Yeah, she said, I love the feel of it between my teeth. Oh, what is it with all these textures? That Ooh. is a strange one. <laughs> Gosh, I, I, I'm very lucky that I haven't had any of these. I bet your teeth are wearing away. Um, Chris, right, OK, let's do some machine needles. We've got jean, we've got stretch, we've got leather, we've got universal. Let's start with universal first. Now, be honest, do you yeah. change your machine uh, needle as much as you should? 
Uh, no. How often should you change a they machine? They say wheel? to change it after every project. Do they? Yeah. Uh, but no, I don't. I I am quite. If I'm doing uh, going through a lot of layers of something, I will change it then. But then. Half, no, I don't change it very often. Well, I got pulled up the other day, didn't I? Because of all the fluff inside my machine. Oh, I saw Nick was uh, cleaning it, it out was, for I'd you. just like to say, the only reason I, I couldn't act to help me get nicking, so I couldn't take the plate off. Because oh. I sometimes struggle with my hands hurt yeah. and I, I can't grip things, so I couldn't take the plate off. But that was literally only a couple of weeks worth. <gasps> Oh, so literally like sure two weeks if it. that if that i mean as you can see i do tend to do a bit a lot of sewing so no so i've learned my lesson so i will be cleaning my machine more and i will start changing my needles more there you go new year's resolution <laughs> there go. That's, that's, good yeah. chance to stock up on your needles for your new year's resolution change them but you'll find that you if you're finding that your um your stitches are skipping a bit skipping, or yeah. you'll hear a difference in your machine won't you you can feel it almost yeah. i mean if you do a lot of sewing your, your machine is, is an extension of your body to me so yeah. I can tell by the feel of it in the pedals or the vibrations on the table so that and I think if you do do a lot of sewing you'll pick up those things as well you know your machine like your car don't you so people are buying multiples yeah. it, it's, it's, it's no surprise to me absolutely it's an essential isn't it and um, it's a really good chance to stock up when you've got free PMP leather needles We've got to fly through because we've got 10 minutes left and there's still so much on my desk that we haven't done. Uh, actually, you know what? We're doing all right, Kat. Mm. We're doing all right. Um, your leather needles. Do you ever work with, do you ever sew with leather? No, no. I've done it, I've done it once with a bag, but I didn't have the right needle. Right. So it's it is, so it's important. I didn't go to, back. <laughs> it is important to have the right needle when you when you are sewing with leather, even if it is just occasions, if you're thinking actually working with leather, I'm presuming that they're a lot sort of sharper, that they're, they're going to go through the layers uh, and a lot stronger. Yeah, we'll just puncture it a lot, a lot easier, yeah. So uh, not struggle and keep sticking and then the, the threads all get bunged up underneath. Here you go, it says it's got a knife edged um, point which cuts through leather uh, and other tough textiles. So this is gonna be good for anything that you, PU as well, these yeah. are probably gonna be good mm -hmm. for, aren't they? Um, just, oops, two pounds and 49 pence. We've also got the stretch. See, um, this is one thing I'm really, I must say, we've got yarn lane today coming up at 12 o'clock and I really would love to do some knitting before, before I have a baby um, or get into it just as a thing to do at night. But also, how tempting is it to be able to know that with an overlocker, you can just run up leggings and little things yeah. with stretch fabrics. So, so easy. Even on your sewing machine, if you put in your, uh, your, your stretch needle into your sewing machine, do it on a lightning stitch or a zigzag mm. stitch. Um, these are perfect for stretch fabrics, aren't they? Yeah, I've, I've tried to repair a, a couple of gym uh, tops and yeah. leggings before. And again, I didn't have the right needle and I just gave up and threw it away in the end. <laughs> So, so yeah, having yeah. the right tools for the job is key. So the difference with these is uh, for knits with two-way stretch, particularly those containing lycra, like we said, anything for swimwear or lingerie or active wear, um, then these are ideal. So it prevents skipped stitches. Obviously, if, the, if you think about how a, a, a different a fabric it is, um, the warp and the weft, you don't want it to pierce through. You want it to almost... I can't remember. John Scott does a really, really good description of this. He he was he, he sort of says that how it, it it doesn't penetrate all the way through. It sort of pushes them to the side and goes through. I'm always amazed whenever John Scott tells me about it. But basically, if you're working with stretch fabrics, get the right needles for the job. We've got another craving come in. Oh my word, Denise, watch this. Go on, cod portions with prawn sauce. Oh, that sounds lovely. Should I eat one every day? A cod portion. Oh my word. Gerardine loved cheese and jam. Loved cheese and jam when she was pregnant, she says. And now her son Together. loves cheese and jam. Yeah, but I suppose it's only like... Um, cheese and chutney. Yeah. Yeah. Cheese and jam like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, like a, um, a brie and uh, cranberry baguette. They're really good. I'd love to agree, but I don't eat cheese. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so that's the only <laughs> thing that I'm, you can't eat soft cheeses really. Oh, I agree with you. Sue, I love pickled onions and I, I, I started to like use that as an, a bit of an excuse to Kieran while I was getting through pickled onions. I thought, right, I'm going to take advantage of this because I love pickled onions. So I just started eating them all the time. I can't really say it as a craving because I just do it anyway. But yeah, that's a good craving to have. <laughs> 
No, you're not liking it. I don't do pickled onions. onions either. No, I don't do my friends. My friend got obsessed with pickled eggs and gherkins, things like oh, that. Oh, no. Oh. No, no. I mean, no. Nick, Nick loves all that, but I'm like, no, you have to eat it over there. It's, oh, no, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> uh, and then the last ones are your jeans. Uh, these, again, are your regular assortment of your, your jeans, needles. Loads of people stocking up on their needles today which um, is not surprising. Remember, use the code VickyPP if you want to receive free post and packaging. We've literally got five minutes and then we're going to um, get in Delphine back on. It's going to do a switcheroo. Uh, if you missed, by the way, if you missed the Jerry the Giraffe cushions, the best way to get the instructions, the only way of getting the instructions, I think, is getting the rainbow bundle. Is the floral sold out? There's three left of the floral. It's about to sell out. So the one on the left, the one with the orange and the uh, the purple and the blue, you get the whole jelly roll, so you get loads of fabric. And Delphine, I mean, you could make so many with them. You can make loads, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, it, it, well, I'd have to calculate it all, but you, yeah, you, you'll be there all year. That will, <laughs> that will see you for 2021. There you go. Yeah. You just keep making giraffes for everybody. Uh, for everybody has been asking, there they are. The pattern's completely sold out in minutes. Um, as I say, the floral, literally a couple of those still available. Floral's different to that one, by the way. Mm -hmm. It's not the same one as on the right. You can see it on the website. It's more of the Dipsy prints, which we saw with Delphine. Yeah, the one on the right was my prototype. Look, looks good. <laughs> looks amazing. And then, um, just wanted to let you all know. Just wanted to let you all know that the uh, the brights are available. Shall we do some tape? You just mentioned about um, quilters tape. We've got a quilters tape and a quilters tape. <laughs> one's single face and one's double sided. So for the let's do the double sided because that's my favourite. Um, this one is your wash away quilters tape which is, yeah, Becky, are you still watching? Baffa, uh, Becky Alexandra Frost, she absolutely swears by this. Those of you that have watched any of her Facebook Lives, any of her demos, any of her tutorials, when we were together, I haven't seen her since the old days, the old past life of Sewing Quarter. And, um, and, and Becky Alexandra Frost literally used to... Um, go through rolls and rolls and rolls and rolls and rolls of this. It's great for putting in zips. It's brilliant for, for, for just holding things in place, um, but it will completely wash away. It's double-sided as well, which is very useful indeed. It's six pounds and 99 pence. The other one, exactly the same, but this time it's just uh, single-sided. It's up to you which you lose. I think they're both great for your stash. Um, it's got a light adhesive, so it's only a temporary hold, which is good, isn't it? It's only a temporary hold, so if you are putting in uh, you just want to hold something in place just uh, temporarily, this is perfect. If you're putting your cross hatching in for your quilting, I'm thinking, if you if you want yeah. to make sure that you've got uh, a pattern, a line there to follow. Yeah, because if you haven't got the uh, attachment on your walking foot, uh, I can't remember the name of it now, then you, you, just to get those straight lines yeah, absolutely guide, yeah. and saves you drawing all over your fabrics as well. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. and it is a really low tack glue. Um, I wouldn't use this for putting your giraffe pieces in place though, no. No. No, although if you you know the glue pen that you were saying earlier on, yeah. If you didn't have if you didn't have any um, bond web and you only had to do it on interfacing, just a little bit of that just to keep it in place while you sew it is quite good as well. Oh yeah, good idea, so. good idea. The sew line glue pen, there is still availability of those if you do want to make the most of it, plus the refills as well. Uh, one more picture, one more picture. Oh. This is Lindsay. Hi Lindsay. She said, oh another one, amazing. Have you had any earrings? Are they like hot oh, earrings? They are. Um, can you put it on the other screen as well for Delphine, please? She's like leading round. Um, my take on the Highland cow added some earrings. That's she brilliant. Said, Love it. Vicky. Good That's quilting. Lovely, isn't it? Really good quilting. Amazing yeah. quilting. Yeah, Love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, just to remind you as well of what? Sorry. Oh yeah. Don't forget. Anybody who um, is checking out today, use the code Vicky V I C K I. PP and you'll get free postage and packaging all day long on the website, on the show, with the call centre, um, with Yarn Lane's website as well. You can use that code, make the most of it. Anything that we didn't get a chance to do, we'll make sure it goes onto the website now underneath us on the, the Today's Show deals. Um, I think we managed to get most of it. Anyway, we've got one hour left with Delphine. So are we ready? I, th I think so. I We're think ready. So. Uh, the jelly roll's already sold out. We've got the book. We've got some more kits, though. We've got plenty um, still to show you, so don't go anywhere. We're back in just a couple of minutes. 
Christmas is going to be a little bit different this year, but Sewing Street will be here to keep you company from 8am to 12pm on Christmas Day. Help me, John Scott, spread some festive cheer by sending in your Christmas messages for us to play on air on Christmas Day. Whether it's a message to your fellow Sewing Street fans or to a loved one, a video message or text, we want to hear from you. Send your videos, photos and messages to studio at sewingstreet.com by Tuesday the 22nd of December to be included and be a part of Sewing Street's Christmas Day celebrations. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn? Bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. If you haven't already heard, I've got a surprise and some good news to end the year. I'll be welcoming a new edition of the Sewing Street family into the world in April 2021. So to spread the joy, we're offering free p, &P all day today on Friday the 18th of December until midnight tonight using the code VickyPP. Shop online at www.sewingstreet.com or via the UK Custom Service team on 0800 001 4433 for Sewing Street. Shop online at www.yarnlane.com or via the call centre on 0800 4700 600 for Yarn Lane. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. And anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Christmas is going to be a little bit different this year, but Sewing Street will be here to keep you company from 8am to 12pm on Christmas Day. Help me, John Scott, spread some festive cheer by sending in your Christmas messages for us to play on air on Christmas Day. Whether it's a message to your fellow Sewing Street fans or to a loved one, a video message or text, we want to hear from you. Send your videos, photos and messages to studio at sewingstreet.com by Tuesday the 22nd of December to be included and be a part of Sewing Street's Christmas Day celebrations. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Do you know what, this has just scared me. It is seven days for Christmas, isn't it? A week today. Oh, I hope you're feeling lovely and festive. Thank you all so much for honestly making my day today. I've been really nervous really nervous and I'm really excited for this afternoon what I want to do is print off all the emails if that's okay so I can take them home and show Kieran as well and read them all with him because he'll be so excited and I'm I find this hilarious reading all your cravings Kat has said I had a craving that I wanted to eat orange crayons not just any crayons any color orange crayons that's, that's a strange how one. How strange. It must again be that chalky yeah. texture. But why just the orange ones? <laughs> that's really odd. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. That's so funny. I'm going to have a good read. Right, this hour, as always, 
Dalphine is here. It's really, really busy. So we did have fat quarters. We did have design rolls. They've all sold out. So well done if you've managed to get them. Um, we'll focus on the book. We can focus on the book because this is a great book to work from. It's for one, a huge book. You can hear the thud. It is a big, big book. You're not paying posting packaging either. Are you ready to see the price? Because it is such a brilliant deal. It's £9.99. And you have so much. I mean, so much. Bearing in mind, we know how much patterns cost. They're £10 normally each. So to be able to have so many projects in here. And what I love about jelly rolls and design rolls, anybody who has... Even if you've got fabric by the half meter, you can cut into two and a half inch strips. You don't need to have a design roll or a jelly roll. But um, I know that today we had some uh, beautiful ones, pre-printed ones, our exclusive ones that were in the first hour. We've had the ones left over, obviously, all mm. the fabric you're gonna have left over from the Jerry the Giraffe. Um, if you've already got a bit of an idea of what fabric you're gonna use for Jerry the Giraffe, but you've got one of the kits, you can use for so many projects in here. And when you start to talk about when you're talking about um, joy of jelly rolls, you almost think of quilting almost straight away. But actually, what I love in this book is that you have got so many different projects and lots of different techniques. So you're going to learn a bit of bag making. You're going to do all of your lovely uh, projects for around the home, cushions. You're going to do your needle books. You've got Russian dolls in here. Patchwork, yes, but also so much more than that. You've got even things like... Um, hair scrunches, which is a lovely little first project, and mini bunting, which is gorgeous. For, for, for projects like this, for toy making, Ollie the Octopus, it's amazing. Drawstring bags, little dollies, patchwork dog. I mean, there's so much. They're all split into different sections. So this first section is talking about all of the different um, techniques. So you've got a binding technique in there. You've got lots of different quilting techniques. So those of you that have got any of Delphine's kits, if you bought Jerry the Giraffe today, this might be a really, really nice book to just learn some of those other techniques like quilting as well. It's got a section on applique. So uh, if you did get um, the, the kits earlier on, if you might, or if you're getting the kit now, have a go at Jerry the Giraffe, but then you're also gonna be able to use your jelly rolls for so many more projects. Now, the uh, quilt on the back wall is really cool, isn't it? It's the spool design, which I know so many of you actually absolutely love. There you go, nine pounds and 99 pence, and it will include that pattern as well. I've just got to find it because there's so many. Um, also, oh yeah, look at that. It does look amazing in those fabrics, rather than if you got them. Uh, later on, we've got Yarn Lane. They've got a, a, a crochet hook roll in here as well. How lovely is this? to be able to use some of your two and a half inch strips to be able to do yourself a, a crochet hook roll. All of the different quilts then are at the back. So there's so many different quilts. I know how much Delphine loves the Dresden plate. This would be beautiful, beautiful um, as a quilt or a cushion. See, all of these you could still use as, uh, as cushions. You don't need to do the whole quilt or little um, lap quilts or cock quilts. Um, this one's lovely as well. Your log cabin. See, that would look amazing. Amazing with CAFE, wouldn't it? All of this for just $9.99. Um, how many projects have we actually got in here? Right, let me read to you. It says you've got 44 gifts and 24 quilts. So you've got, yeah, 44 plus another 24. All your templates, by the way, anything that you need for the templates for your Russian dolls or any of the toys, they are also at the back. They are also at the back. We're at 14 pence a project. 14 pence a project, which um, is, is something we say very often. We normally say sort of a pound a project at the lowest in a book. This is really good value. Um, Delphine, do you know what page this is on? <laughs> Honestly, how have I still not got I to should, it? I, I, I've just been watching you struggle looking through Well, I'm them. not struggling. I'm just no, diving no, into the, all of them. Because I've, I've got thought, it all... Uh, there we are, 190. I thought I'll just come to it eventually. Or but there's it's so hiding, many projects. It's hiding, it's hiding. 188. Thank you, got it. Sewing spools. Oh, it looks so different in the blues yeah. as well. 
this is what I love about books like this is that when you start to do them again as well, you're going to see lots of different uh, colourways that are going to suit it. Uh, I mean, you could just get lost in this book. It's, it, this is one of those books that I think when I, because obviously when I'm lucky enough that I get this through the post and I get to have sit down and have a real look through it, but it's like you say, it's not just a project, but it's giving you, it tells you the very basics about how to quilt, how to free right. motion, how you're binding. So it's almost like the, if you haven't got this in your sewing room, then you need this in your sewing room, regardless of how experienced you are as a sewer. I think yeah. it's, uh, yeah, it's very valuable. Uh, so how experienced as a sewer do you need to be to be able to conquer a quilt like this? So, beginner stage, I wouldn't say, if, if this is your first quilt, mm. I'd, uh, I wouldn't do this one. Um, I wanted to show you, uh, just to, to get rid of a few myths of Y scenes, really. So, yeah. yes, we are going to do them. And hopefully, nothing will go wrong live on television, but we'll see. Y seams are scary to a lot of I people, think, I think it's because a lot of people keep saying they're scary. And because <laughs> we, they are, well, if, if it's your first time, and I think a lot of people give them a wide berth and go, well, I'm not going to go anywhere near that. But once you've done it a couple of times, it's not that bad. They're not that bad. It's just take your time. There's a few little tips that I'll show you to how to do them. But no, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> right. Yeah. We've had a message come through, by the way. Uh, from who, sorry? Hi, Donald. Hi, Sue. Fix wonderful news. Oh, thank you. Delphine and you are a perfect team. Aww. You can cover my maternity leave. What? There you go. <laughs> you got a job. Oh, crikey, me. Yeah, Delphine can do it. Easy. <laughs> Donald and Sue, thank you ever so much. Um, yeah, you, you can't you can't cover my maternity leave though because they won't let me back. If oh no, no, just no doing not it. at all. No, I'm too I'm too busy sewing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh no, I love. I must say, I love working with you, Delphine. It's you're... been a lovely day. I always really enjoy coming here, and you're so lovely. <laughs> oh, you're so lovely. <laughs> and I just don't know how you get the energy from. And I just don't, honestly, in here, it's not. I know you know we're on. It's on the telly and things, but you're you're like this. All the time. It's, it's probably something it's to do with Alison Marion and all the sugary treats that she always those leaves biscuits us. biscuits are amazing. Thank you, Alison. I've got no sample of those I've had. Thank you. They're really they lovely. are really lovely. It's probably to do with that. Um, right, so the book is 9 99 It's absolutely brilliant. Um, it will probably sell out today, just so you're aware. Well, everything else is, is sort of sold out. So, come on then. Let's have a look at why it seems. Um, right. So, first of all, when you're going to do a project like this, you want to make sure that the centre square is going to stand out. Now, I, if, although it looks quite random the way I've done it, I actually haven't. So, um, you know when you have a colour chart and like the uh, uh, contrasting colours, so complementing colours. So, um, things like the, the red and green always work really, really well together. So, these uh, uh, jelly rolls, the fabrics, uh, as you'll see, are like an ombre oh, beautiful. effect. So... Uh, I've just went through like a colour chart and went through red and greens match, purple is in purples and yellows, and, and that way you're always going to know that that centre square is always going to pop out. But if you haven't got those, just make sure that um, you put your fabrics next to each other and make sure one's just slightly darker or lighter, etc. Otherwise, it will just look like one big shape, and you right. don't want that. So, right then, let's, let's do a bit. Of, here we are. I'm just going to get some bits that I've already prepared earlier. I mean, they are beautiful. We haven't even had a chance to see these unpackaged because there was such, you know, there was a number of stock that we had that we thought, I don't want to unpackage it in case that's going to be somebody not going to be able to get one. So we didn't actually even unpackage them. So oh, it's really? lovely to oh, see this ombre. Oh, they're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And um, all the different colours. I, I should have took a photo of them all, but I actually laid all the strips down across oh, wow. the table. And just to have, you know, before, before I choose a project, I always look at the fabrics. So yeah. I let the fabrics steer me in the right direction of what to yeah. choose as a project the so this looks speak perfect. to you delphi they do they talk to me <laughs> yeah yeah and uh yeah it's uh, that's where all the magic happens and um so, and not all, it doesn't always work out the way uh, i hope but this time look hopefully it will so my bag of scraps left because i did make quite a few things with this so i'm just going to have a look at what will work quite nicely let's have oh we'll just have that one that will do it's only because I've noticed that I didn't cut out my uh, my um, centre squares. So all the instructions are in the book, but I believe this is a just a two and a half inch square. So I'm just going to cut that. This is where you were definitely going to need some of this if you've got some, oh, only great. because we are going to be the, they are cut on the bias slightly, and you are going to be moving them around quite a lot in the machine, so they can um, warp. Warp, yeah. 
So you, you don't want that because you want to make the make sure that this block is quite nice and. So do you sturdy. do that before you cut out? Would you give it a good spray spray of breast pe pe breast? <laughs> 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 Best press. All the locks on. Yeah, so oh, I'll straight on it there. Yeah, so I'll just give it a little bit of a spray <laughs> before you go on and sew it, only because you just don't want anything moving around. So I'd also take your time and um, I'm one of those uh, sewers that I, I quite enjoy the cutting process and the prep mm. and not just going straight to the sewing machine. So, you know, cut out all of your, um, your pieces first, put them all, have, have yourself a little bit of a plan Okay. you know um, and then take them to the machine so that way if you have got a really busy day you, you feel a bit more accomplished I think if you set yourself a little target do your cutting first and then you know pair everything together and then do the sew and then do the ironing and then do the piecing rather than try and tackle it as one big project. Yeah. Anna um, Greasy says the fabric talks to her too she says it always says buy me she says I have loads oh well. <laughs> you can never have too much fabric. No. Can you? So you just have to buy a bigger house, don't you? You do, be? like I had to do. <laughs> now I've got a huge mortgage. So, oh, it's running away from me. Right, there. so you're using a special ruler to do this. Yeah, so I'm, I'm a real big fan of it. these rulers. Uh, yeah, they're really good for doing your half square triangles. They're good for doing flying geese, which I really enjoy doing flying geese quilts as well. And also to just cut out this uh, simple shape. So. Um, I think yeah, I got the, I got this from here actually. I didn't yeah. I didn't steal it. <laughs> What's that one called? This is the uh, the flying geese ruler. Oh, okay. The six inch flying geese and forty five slash ninety degree triangle. We'll and see if we can find it, or it might be on the website. We'll have a look. And it even gives you a diagram on there of what the uh, of what you can actually make with it. So yeah, oh, yeah, flying flying geese and your half square triangles and your normal triangles. Anything triangular, you need one of these. These are really good. So there it is, twenty two ninety nine. Brilliant. And like you say, it's one that actually you it's very useful. You use when, it a lot. Once you've got your head round, I think it's with any ruler, once you've got once you understand it, yeah. you um you you steer away from using your, your typical rulers with just the lines on, which are really great. Um but it also it, it just it just makes life a bit easier and okay. I think that's what you need to do. Just it help yourself out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, well you get the precision, yeah. don't you? It's yeah. less to the guesswork. So here we are. So I'm just, uh, I'll just move you in the centre a bit so you can see. So I'm just lining up that line. And as you can see, like you say, that precision. And so this is the one way of doing it. Patricia, speak to the customer service team. Kat saying that she can't help you from her side. I think you've done your third order and haven't um, done, forgot to do your P and P code. Speak to the customer service team and they'll be able to take it off for you. It's a free phone line number. Kat can't do it from her side. She doesn't have the power, you see. So anything like that when you're cutting in straight lines, try and cut away from you, not towards you. I'll just turn it around. So you can sort of lose yourself when you're doing this type of cutting. You can just uh, go along the strip. And one thing I love about these fabrics is that every single piece that you cut is going to be different because of the shades and the little silvery stars. And those are lovely. They really pick up the light as well. Oh, I love them. They, they look lovely, so beautiful. And just having, like you say, that ombre effect, you're going to get a beautiful, beautiful sort of... Well, ombre of colour, aren't yeah. you, through? It's I, so lovely. Well, that's why on this one, I only on this cushion here, I only use the three colours. Yeah. And it, look all the different shades that you've yeah. got. There's quite a few different... Oh, I saw this. This is your tumbling blocks, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and, and the log cabin in front of you there. The log cabin, the one... See, there's so many projects in this book that you're going to love bit, love doing. Oh, my word. That's going to look beautiful. And is this using the, uh, the jelly roll strips as well? Yeah. Amazing. So all I'm going to do to make your spool is I'm going to sew the square right sides together onto along that edge there, just along there with a quarter inch seam. Now, because we're talking Y seams, there's two ways of doing this. You can, which it will tell you in the book, that you will start about a quarter an inch on the way, uh, on the way in. Make sure you do a locking stitch. And then you stop in quarter inch on the way um, at, the, at the bottom there. And then that way, when you open it up, there is a little gap. But that can make it easier for you to add in your other piece. Now, that is one way of doing it. There is another way of just keeping it as the quarter inch and just sew all the way to the bottom. Now, it all 
then it's all down to how you press it and how you open it and how you handle the fabric. This is my preference okay. of how you do them. I don't think there's any right or wrong way of doing this. I've done it a couple of times in different, in different ways. Everyone does it differently. This is my way and it works. Yeah. But it might not work be. for everybody. Yeah. Might be, yeah, I think it's your personal preference, isn't yeah. it? You find your way of doing things and yeah, whichever is your easiest way of doing it. So make sure you've um, got a quarter inch seam. Would you be able to just move your um, best bottle. press, please? <laughs> Thank you. So you just want to make sure that your stitching here is fairly accurate. So, yeah, so not a beginner beginner, but as long as you can sew in the straight line fairly accurately, mm -hmm. then you should be fine. Make sure your quarter of an inch is, is, is bang on on your machine. Yeah. Um, somebody asked a message here about a craving about eating sand. But she also then put, well, I did sterilise the sand first. Gillian! Oh, well, that's all right then. <laughs> oh, it's all right then, yeah, that you're eating sand, because as long as it was sterilised. That is so weird. So I've heard some of them before, but I've never heard that. I bet Gosh. a midwife has got some stories to, to tell, haven't they? Oh, well, we know we had a midwife watching earlier because she said that... Um, she said that she could tell I was pregnant, but it's because she's a midwife. <laughs> so, um, yeah, please message in of some of the funny cravings. How do you feel now that it's all out I in the really, open? I feel really, really weird. Do you feel like it's... I feel like it's a new thing again. Like, I don't know. It's such a, like, milestone of things, like telling my mum and, and do things. And now it's just become kind of normal for so long. And now it's just like, oh... Now it is really real. I haven't, we haven't even even put anything on face, Facebook or social no. media. So there's probably a lot of people who are on my uh, Facebook who'd be like, what? But um, really, oh, there's some people who we used to work with who, um, yeah, I think have, will have, well, of course, will have, uh, might have seen today's show. So I was really excited, though, about telling, like, as you're saying, I honestly feel like Stone Street is an extension of my yeah. family so I was really nervous but also really excited to tell everyone well it's going to be uh, the sewing street baby yeah the first that's sewing it. street baby how exciting right so are you pressing your seams open I'm pressing here? them open here but only because you want every you want this these corners to lie nice and flat because okay. if they're too bulky it will just it will look messy it will just really stick out so yeah I've opened them and then I always turn over and give it another little light press. Now, to attach your white, to attach your white bits. So I always do it. So I'm like, because obviously these two bits here need to be put together to make to form one of our spools. So let's put that to one side for now. So put that on top. Then I turn it round. Now that little bit sticking out the top, I know that that edge there needs to be sewn against this one here. You need to pin or anything? You can do. Um, I'm not a big pinner, but you can put a little pin in it right there where the, uh, the seam is. Okay. So, cause you want, or you can even put a mark on there to show that it's exactly quarter inch. Um, only because you want it to be really, really accurate. This is where you might want to take your time as well. Don't, I'm quite a quick sewer, but take your time and take it steady. Make sure that you've given it a press with the, um, the best press and you can feel it because it's not going to be moving around. Now you're going to sew all along that one line. Estelle's asked for the code for 3 PMP. It's V-I-C-K-I-P-P. Vicky P P, like this. V I C K I P P. And you're going to stop in that seam, and this is where you're going to be moving things around. So I've lifted it up, and I'm just going to move that out of the way. Make sure your your foot is nowhere near that pedal, because you are going to be getting quite close to the needle there. Make sure you stop with the needle down. Okay. And then you line up, drop your foot, and then you'll sew to this bit here. Okay. So right in the seam and drop the needle down in there. Oh, it's suddenly gone all serious in here. <laughs> I know, we're concentrating, we're doing Y seams. <laughs> and then Need concentration. I'll lift it up again. I'm going to move that right out of the way. Make sure there's nothing bulky in there. 
I'm quite happy that that's going to be nice and flat and then you'll finish it off. Right to the end. All okay. the way to the end. Perfect. There we are. And then when you open it out. Oh, nice. So, like I said, that's with me doing it without leaving the gap. Okay. I think if you're, if you press correctly, if you take your time and keep the, the needle down and don't be afraid to move that fabric out of the way, there's no reason why you can't get a perfect Y seam without having to leave that gap. Because otherwise, if you, are, if you are slightly off, even just by a single stitch, it could leave a little gap and then um, you're going back under and then before you know it, you're catching the fabric. So this is my way of doing it. I mm -hmm. find it the easiest way. Right, so you're going to do it again, aren't I'm you? I'm going to do it side, again. So we'll get to see it again. Thank you, Delphine. <laughs> so again, I, I pop it there. I know I've got to fold that right sides together and then I flip over because mm -hmm. I know that edge has got to be sewn against this one. So I line that up. And starting at the edge. And then don't be afraid to keep starting and stopping. Repositioning, checking to everything's, reposition. everything's in the right place. Because you spent all that time cutting it all out so accurately. Take your time because it will be worth it. And then stop with the needle down, lift it up, move all of that out of the way. So lots of people were buying unpickers in the last hour. There's nothing wrong with using your unpicker, by the way. Oh, I'm always using mine. Yeah, if you, if you go wrong on this, don't worry, unpick it and have another go. Yeah. That's what it's all about, you know. <laughs> Believe me, I didn't get all this straight away. Yeah. Oh, um, absolutely. Even the most professional will, will use the unpicker still, you know, more than you, you sort of necessarily think. Two ninety nine. In fact, there's a lot of people buying multiples. <laughs> You can never have too many on pickers. <laughs> oh, so move that out the, way there. the stitch remover sold out, didn't it? The uh, Bridgewater one. Yeah, that was brilliant. This is your your little handheld one, which is your really lovely quality Madeira one, two pound ninety nine, and it's free P and P if you want an unpicker. So I'm moving that bit out of the way, and line up again. Try not to pull the fabric. You don't want to stretch it. Make sure there's nothing underneath. Just so you know, there's only 10 books left if you've got it in your basket. And there we are. Oh, nice. Look how perfect this is. Yeah, and all by just taking your time. <gasps> so, right, now I've got quite a few seams on the back. Is there a particular way in yeah. which you'd press? Yeah, so I will press, I do press them open. I will give it a bit of a press. The iron is the early bird today. I'm so pleased that this has lasted the day because normally it wouldn't, go on air at this time. We had, um, a, 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 well, a smaller amount of stock when we launched it on Black Friday, they sold out in a heartbeat. Um, we then had it last Saturday when Hayley was producing our head of TV and it was her pick of the show, her, her early bird special, and it sold out again, um, especially for today. I know that John said that it will go up in price. It has gone up in price, but we've cheated the system. We found a loophole and we've offered free PMP. So you're still getting it at that amazing price point. Um, hundreds of you have already got it. Hundreds of gain have gone today. We've got less than 100 remaining. I'm hoping that we get a chance to show this, you know, over the next week when we're talking about the Applique project with Delphine on Christmas Eve. Um, this would be really, 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 really useful. But for opening seams, I find oh, it's it, perfect. It is perfect, it. isn't it? Yeah, because when you, I don't know if you, when you're doing small, small uh, blocks like this and you're opening the seams with a bigger iron, when you think you've pressed it flat and then it picks it up from the back and then it's all wonky, whereas you've got more control over it with this iron. Especially with the you handle, it's the got a lovely ergonomic. It's really comfy to hold and you feel like you're in control of it, definitely. So I'm opening those seams. There we are. And I always give it an, a last minute waft over the top. A cat wanted me to say, by the way, that as Sewing Street, we do not condone eating, you know, all of these strange things, <laughs> sand that's been sellerized or, or orange, you know, we're not endorsing it. Cats keep selling me, make sure you say it on air, because we've had so many, so much, Shelley's just said, I, I um, wanted to eat Vicks Vapor Rub when I was pregnant with my first. Oh no, why? 
just having a hair wave <laughs> or something instead. Yeah. Something minty. <laughs> so that's how we do your spools. Oh, I love that. So that's the block, isn't it? You're that's just it. going to be able, once you've conquered that. And then you just give it a bit of a trim. Trim off any of the dog ears. And this is actually, if you do this, taking your time, you know, use the best press and, you know, opening out your seams really accurately, you are going to get a perfect, I mean, all those points, this is where I'm going to be bigging myself up a little bit, but those points are perfect on that quilt. Oh, Matt. So you wouldn't need to get the buttons out to be able to, uh, no, no. <laughs> to cover any dodgy points. They're all perfect. Like you said, if you spend that extra little bit of time, just on the pressing and you've got the accuracy with your cutting with the rulers of course and there you go there's your block nice it looks amazing doesn't it and then even if you didn't want to do loads of those those will look really nice on um you know just like as a wall hanging in your sewing room or oh see i've started again go now. on you could uh sew tiny little strips together like that for the thread and then leave that as the spool. Oh, yes. Yeah. I mean, especially that these fabrics have got the ombre effect, but if not, maybe using the rainbow effect, using the uh, other uh, design rolls from the giraffe. Yeah, really good a way of using it with straps as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so there you go, that's your spool. So I, couldn't, I can show you another one in a bit if we have time, but if not, I can show you another bit. Yeah, amazing, whatever you want to do, we've got yeah. half an hour. Um, just so you know, the book is about to sell out. If you do want the Joyo jelly rolls, um, all the fabrics that we had planned for this hour have already gone. Well done if you managed to get them. You saw the um, the zigzag diamonds, which is your tumbling blocks, the one that, we, um, that we've got the cushion yep. of, and also, you'll spot one second i did just see it there and there there you go the log cabin as well which is by the the, the cushion that i've got next to me here i mean it looks amazing it's going to look gorgeous in your fabrics as well from home it's a great book to really dive in for lots of projects if you're thinking right i've been doing lots of different sewing over 2020 and um i've lost my sojo a bit i need some more inspiration even little things like hair scrunchies using up things in your stash to be able to make Lots of lovely projects. There's some great, great projects in here and lots of lovely techniques as well, which if you're anything like Sarah, Sarah Bullen, she always said to me, read through, no matter if you, even if you know how to do binding, read through this author's, this designer's uh, way of doing binding because you might still find different tips. Like you said, in the sewing world and on your sewing journey, there is sort of no wrong or right. It's finding your own way of doing yeah. things. So picking up different tips from other people, it isn't all just... Well, it's almost, it, you know, when I first started doing rice seams, it was all, it was always make sure you leave a gap, make sure you leave a gap. Yeah, I I've heard that, that technique. Didn't work. And I accidentally did it the way I've just done it a couple of times. I'm like, but this works better for me, so I'm yeah. doing it this way. Yeah, good. So. <laughs> She's such a rebel, isn't she, our Delphi? <laughs> such a rebel. So, should we have a go at a tumbling block? Yeah, love a I tumbling block. I love a block. tumbling block. I just think they look so cool. So, how, because it's quite a sort of optical illusion, yeah. it's all about colour placement and picking the yes. right colours, isn't it? So, you need a light, a medium, and a dark. Okay. That's all you need. And also, you don't necessarily need the colours to match because that's going to make it stand out a lot more. Right. So, um, but again, if you've got these colours, then obviously the ombre effect works really, really well. Just choose your favourite colour palette or even just keeping it with your whites, black and a grey. But you definitely want that contrast, otherwise you won't get that illusion. Okay. So most of the rulers that we have has the 60, um, 60 degree line on it. So that's what you need to create your initial angle. These Creative Grid rulers are brilliant. I mean, I... And not sponsored by Creative Grid. <laughs> the way that I go on about Creative Grid rulers, you think that they are uh, sponsored by them or something because they are absolutely awesome. And then to, this is to create your diamond effect and then two and a half inches this way. Again, it tells you how to do it in, in the book. Uh, again, in different ways of how to create the diamonds. And if you, can't, if you still can't get your head around it, there's a template at the back of the book as well. So. Oh, brilliant. Shelley, thank you for, uh, for letting me know that. She put, I rubbed it on my chest um, so it would stop me from eating it. This is the Vicks Vapor Rub. She said she had a craving of having Vicks Vapor Rub, so she said, I, uh, I used to just rub it on my chest to stop me from eating it. Oh, I'm pleased that, <laughs> that you didn't eat it. So to create that effect that I've achieved on the, on the uh, cushion, obviously they're all different shades, so I'm just putting these into piles, basically. Okay. So from the greens to the yellows, that's a spare one. 
In fact, no, I might use that one. There you go. So it's all part of the planning. It's important. There we are. That's okay. pretty, doesn't it, already? So now, for your first one, you can chain piece these. You're going to sew along those right sides together, quarter of an inch, just to down that one seam just there. So I'm going to okay. go and do a couple of these. So only with your dark and medium fabrics, you're not touching the light ones just yet. And another one. Have you just used a white background? Oh, you still use the star fabric, haven't you, in the background? I have, yeah. There's two, there's two strips of the white in there. Yeah. And then I think with, with the, the rest of it, I just used a bit of off... Um, white? Yeah. If you do need white, buy the half metre. Um, in fact, I know a lot of people who have got, obviously, the, the giraffe pattern. Um, somebody bought seven metres of white today. I'm wondering whether you're going to do a big quilt um, of your giraffe or, or if you do want to do um, what Delphine's done, the quilt behind us, just with that nice stark white background, the colours really pop, don't they? So if you do want white, it's by the half metre. It's a great chance to stock up whilst we're doing free posting packaging and it will be cut off the bolt for you to whatever size you want by the half metre. It's brilliant quality, Rose and Hubble cotton, um, 349 and a half metre, again, with free postage and packaging when you're using the code Vicky PP. So there you are. I've just chain stitched those ones together. And I need some scissors. Is the book sold out, Cat? Yeah. That means I can't get one. <laughs> I'll have to take that one home. Yeah. No, that would be stealing. <laughs> there we go. So I'm just going to give them again. It's really important to press well on um, uh, uh, this type of this type of quilting. So yeah, you would cut it all out. Have make that be one job. Then chain piece these bits all together. Let that be another one. Don't forget to use your because you are going to be. It is cut on the bias, so you don't want that to warp. Yeah, best press is really, really handy for this. Uh, your ironing station, it's, it's, it's good to self, set yourself up a bit of a station, isn't it? This is the uh, June Taylor cut and press mat, 49.99. Great chance to get it home with free PMP as well. And um, I do really like this mat because it's nice and cushioned that you can pin into it, can't you, if you yeah. need to, for making binding and things like that. Yeah, if you've like come to the end of the day and you just got, say, if you've got all these type of pieces and you haven't got round to uh, putting them all together yet, you know, just rather than have everything in piles all over your desk, you just put a little pin in it and you just put it up against the wall and it's not going to fall off. And you flip it over and cut on it as well. Yeah. It's a cut and press. Uh, but it's not like one of these combi, you know, novelty things. It's actually a really good quality cutting mat and a really, really good quality um, quality uh, pressing mat as well. The the. The cutting mat, I would normally always say, get yourself a self-healing cutting mat. This one isn't self-healing because it doesn't need to. Uh, June Taylor have actually designed their own sort of technology, which would mean that it doesn't leave any uh, ridges at all when you're cutting with it. So it's really handy. There we are then. So I'll just put these over there. So I'm going to show you how to put these into oh i've missed i've mi mixed up messed up my system now well, there's my dark one there we go <laughs> so to finish off your block you want to put that diamond into that square right like is that. this another yc it is but we're not scared of them anymore but we're not scared anymore no okay so and again all you do is white sides together and you will sew it is easier to sew it this way round mm -hmm. so you can see where your where your gap is so again, you'll, you know it's going to go in that way. You turn it round, flip it over, and you'll sew a quarter inch seam and stop in in, the, in those stitches. Again, you can leave that little gap, but I don't. <laughs> and I've proven it works, <laughs> so. What's the star fabric you using? Bethan said, oh, it's sold out. We needed more, Bethan. 
Bethan, keep your eyes peeled and hopefully we'll be able to get some more in stock uh, in the new year. It was beautiful, beautiful jelly roll. We had the fat quarters as well before and um, yeah, it hasn't even made it to air. Everything's completely sold out. Sorry, Bethan. Alison Marion lived on curry pot noodles. She says, I couldn't eat one now if you paid me. <laughs> but Becky, her daughter, loves instant noodles. But they, it does make you, yeah, because like Charlie's favourite food is pasta and pizza. There you go. Mind you, aren't most... Uh, Yours, you must make a good spaghetti bolognese. I, I do like a good spag bowl. <laughs> and there we are. And there's your block. So let's do that again. Oh, and that tumbling block effect is, look at that, it's so effective, isn't it? And that's the beauty of, of a lot of these projects because I quite like, you know, the, the um, and messing around with colour. That's all it is. It's just a little mm. trick of the eye. We've just played around with colour. So the, the, the log cabin cushion that you've got there, I quite yeah. like the way that, that the pink almost makes it it's 3D coming out because it's yeah. completely fighting against the grey. Yeah, absolutely. These are really good to be able to, um, to play around with your colour placement. But I mean, they've sort of done the hard work for you, especially when you've got this lovely ombre effect. It's just going to work, even if you, you know, you do do it random. It's going to really, really work. That looks gorgeous, doesn't it? That's from the book as well. It's another one from the book. Have a look on the website. Type in design roll. We've got all of our exclusive design roll panels, which are another bargain. They're, they're £19.99 and it's extra wide. So if you do want to have a bit of a play around with jelly rolls for using your book, we've got the, the ones from 8 o'clock. We've also got the barley pops, I think, on the website as well, your boutiques. And, spoiler alert, I'm not going to say too much, but they will come in really, really useful in a project early January. They will. If you get the barley pop boutiques. Not saying anymore. Not saying anymore. Watch this space. You shouldn't tell me all of your spoilers, by the way, because I, I'm really bad at keeping, <laughs> a, keeping a secret. Oh, I'll just do a, another one for you. So remember, double check where your placement is. Turn it over. And then sew along that line there. <gasps> where did you find this? So I've got a tickle. <coughs> Sorry. It's all right. Do you want a drink? No, I'm all right. Um, Kat has just found Riley Blake jelly roll. Uh, right. This is what is so good about having our, our warehouse so close by. If you do want a jelly roll, this would be beautiful for Jerry the giraffe. This would be amazing for this project. Anything in the book today. $49.99. It is your idyllic design roll from Riley Blake. I don't want to open this because this will sell out as well today, but you've got the beautiful pinks and greys, navy blues. We've got less than 30 of them available. And the way that things have been selling today with the free P and P, um, I know is going to be very, very popular. It's £49.99 and it's Riley Blake, which, do you know our Kerry living in loveliness? She would love that, wouldn't she? I just love how they're presented as well in the design rolls. It, it it, I don't so like beautiful. undoing them. No, so I know. I try my best to when I pulled out a piece to keep it all really nice and tidy, but it all fell apart. <laughs> yeah, just look at it for a while and just enjoy it because it won't look like that again. Which way are you pressing? All uh, open? All open, okay. yeah, because you want them to lie really flat. So, and also, it, they're all very similar in shade anyway, so it, it's not like you're going to see, you know, the colours are really going to stand out. Because you want this bit, especially the middle bit here, to be as flat as possible. There we go. And then an extra little waft over the top. There we are. I'll open these ones right to the centre. So you could, um, uh, of course, you could make this into all sorts. It doesn't necessarily need to be a cushion, does it? It'd be nice as a bag. Yeah, yeah, really nice. Uh, all sorts. Even a picture. I know I'm an arty yeah. part, but it'll just like, you know, put make a few of these and stretch it over a canvas. Yeah. You know, people uh, pay a lot of money for that in a yeah. shop. And especially using some of your favourite fabrics. Yeah. It's a good way of, of savouring it to, or displaying it if you've got it in a frame, a piece of artwork. It looked lovely. Well, it's like you see people frame offcuts of wallpaper. Yeah. 
don't they? Or pieces of fabric. And so why not do it with, with this? It doesn't yeah. have to be a furnishing like yeah. a cushion or a quilt, you know. There we are. I love this block. It's really it's really cool, isn't it? There we are. Right, so attaching them together, are we looking at more Y seams? So, uh, no, no. Um, in a bit. So what I will do is um, show you a little, I'll make up two more blocks and show you how you attach them all together. So we've got, oh, so we've got time, have we got time? Yeah, we've got about 10 minutes or so. So. Oh, they look amazing, don't they? They look really cool, don't they? So to, to attach them together, just trim off oh, any yeah. of the doggies and then sew along the, those lines. I'm just going to cut these off. But yeah, it's just a matter of just being quite precise and taking your time. If you if you're one of those uh, sewers that you like a really quick project, this is probably not yeah. one you yeah. do. Uh, you well, there's so time. much in the book, isn't there, to be able to say, oh, so I want many. a quick project. I, I can do something quick. It, it was really hard to actually choose, but I, I just wanted to uh, show you something that was just to spell a bit of a few of the the, the myths of it, that why seems are really hard because they're yeah. not. They're not. It just um, well, I think instantly a lot of people might flick past those projects yeah, in the book like, when they oh, go, oh, it's a Y-seam, yeah. actually, I'm not going to do it. So I, hopefully everybody's going to have a go at it. And you never know until you try. So there we go. I'm just going to put them in the order that I want them. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, Elliot. He's all over the place. So I'm just going to sew along that one, um, the straight edge of the block. Make sure that they're the right way round. So I've sewn those two together, like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and sew that one on the edge. Already, that looks really... It looks so effective, Really effective. It? it helps really us a little shadow look underneath. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I love about it. It does have that three-dimensional like, optical illusion effect, doesn't it? It's really cool. Okie doke. So there's those three. I'm going to give them a press very quickly, put that to one side, and then I'll just make up another two as quickly as I can, and then I'll show you how you put them together. But it's just basically the same as how you would put the um, the top on, mm -hmm. uh, but you just do it as one big one big s stitch. I don't know. <laughs> it's lost all the words. I've, I've lost the words. Uh, well, it is nearly twelve o'clock. I know, and we did keep you on for an extra hour oh, as well. Oh, I enjoyed it, though. It was quite oh, nice rather than sat on my own in the oh, no, outside. I it? it was so lovely. We've got Christmas Eve next week as oh, well. Oh, I know. I'm excited. I'm um, excited what's, our, what's our dress code Christmas Eve? What did you say? What are we doing for our dress code Christmas Eve? What are we wearing? I don't know. I might, I might even put something nice on. Oh, should we dress up? Yeah, we could Should do. we dress up? Yeah. Especially if on Boxing Day I've said I'm wearing my pyjamas, we're going to do pyjama day on Boxing Day. We could dress up on Christmas Eve then. Yeah, nice. I might put something, I might put something pretty on. You're, yeah. sm you're going ca smart casual, Elliot. Okay. He says, I don't think my suit will fit him at the moment. I, that's a good point. I'm trying any of my dresses Most of my, my clothes don't on. fit me at the moment. <laughs> <gasps> okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to quickly put these two on and then I'll show you how you put it all together. So remember to put the tops on, flip it over, turn and so. Can we give anybody a bit of a, a sneak peek of what you're doing on Christmas Eve? Any like any sort of hints or I, not? I, well I, I don't know, I, I, am I allowed to? I don't know. Um, I think you should you should do it. <laughs> I can tell you, what I can tell you is, is if you've ever missed out on Delphine's projects which Let's face it, there's a lot of people <laughs> that miss out because it's, they're always so popular. We're going to do for the first ever big roundup of some of the most popular kits on Christmas Eve. I mean, it's been, as we say, a real strange year. Towards the end of the year, we want to do a big roundup. And of course, Delphine has been a huge part of Sewing Street since we launched. Um, back at the start of the year. So we wanted to do like a really big show dedicated to Delphine, um, yeah. especially before Christmas. So that's going to be the last hour of the Christmas Eve show. Uh, and we're going to do everything we can 
just while just whilst uh, Delphine is going through those, I just want to very, very quickly recap for anybody who's saying, oh, I've missed out on Jerry the Giraffe. You haven't. You actually haven't. So all of the instructions um, sold out on their own. The floral is now sold out as well. If you do want it, you've still got the option of getting your instructions, which have got all of your amazing templates. They've got everything that you need in there, all of Delphine's gorgeous instructions. Plus, you're getting half a meter of white. You can add more to your order if you want to purchase it. You've seen the, uh, the underneath us on the website, you'll see all of the, uh, the meat by the, the, the meat, the white by the half meter. And you've also got your amazing design role of all of these beautiful bright mottle sort of effect colours. And this will make, I mean, you'll be able to have a really good dive into your Joy of Jelly Rolls book as well with this. Um, it, this will literally, to make the cushion, you will need a really small amount from this Jelly Roll. So there's, I mean, it's a brilliant price. It is a brilliant price because this is 29.99 on its own. In fact, has it sold out? Yeah, they've sold out on their own. Um, the instructions were £10, which sold out on their own. So you're getting half a metre of white for free, which even if you want to use a different background or different fabrics, um, definitely worth stocking up on this because you're getting that half a metre for free, 39.99. Now, just so you know, if you're watching on a repeat or on a replay, free P&P is only today, which is the 18th of December. It's until midnight tonight. So if you're watching later on throughout the show, it's definitely worth speaking to the team and finding out availability. But I've got a feeling that this will sell out um, before we go home today. We tried to make sure that we had loads available. So hopefully it lasts to the end of the day. Had a message come through from Karen. I got Alfred a few weeks ago. She said it's one of the best patterns I've ever used. Aww. She said, so well done. Need Delphine's projects in my life. Oh, I love Aww, the message. That's a lovely message. Oh, thank you so much. That's lovely. Honestly, you can see though the time and the love that goes into all of these patterns. And um, yeah, we are so proud that and we And it's so nice because I do worry sometimes, you know, because everyone learns in a different way and I just I, I do worry thinking are they do they understand what I mean when I'm saying that or when oh, I'm doing so that oh you're so clear you are um, so clear I do uh, it does mean a lot thank you that was a really nice message this is why I'm really excited for the new year hopefully you know before too long we'll be able to go on Delphine's workshops that would be great wouldn't it yeah that would be so great I'd love that and you know and I just love I'm just so grateful for the opportunity to be able to do this and for Sewing Street and for all of you a lot. And I've said it before, but I'm so lucky that I can get to stand up here and just oh. share with you all what I absolutely oh. love doing. This is literally the best thing that's We do have the best happened. job I ever, love don't it. we? I really, I absolutely <laughs> love my job. And, you know, and although sometimes I do get a bit stressed thinking, oh, you know, what if people don't like that design or what if that's not right? And I am dreaming giraffes and elephants and... <laughs> um, elves and they're all coming <laughs> to get me in the night <laughs> but uh no i'm just uh, i'm really really thankful so that message is really lovely thank oh, you I mean, thank it does you. mean a lot to me we've literally got how long did you say earlier five minutes less than no worries so pretend i've done another block okay i have to attach them it's really, really simple. So you just pop them on top. Oh, that's really nice with the light on the top, gorgeous. doesn't it? Really clever fabric. So you're just going to do it the same way. You're going to turn it right sides together because you know that bit's going to go to there. Sew along that bit and then that bit and then that bit and then that bit. So let's give it a go. So line up all of your edges. So you want to stop within those stitches. Taking your time, just a little tap. One more, there we are. Lift You've got good up. control over that machine. Yeah, I'm, get, I'm getting used getting to used sewing to standing up now. In fact, I'm actually doing a lot more of it at home. I've got quite a lot of um, a project that I need to do this afternoon, which is lots of starting and stopping. So I tend to mm -hmm. just have to have it um, st stood up on the counter now. But it's like, it's, it's like I said, it's just an extension of you, isn't it? It's like treat it like you do a, your car. Yeah. Just move it out of the way. 
I'll see you at home. Just take your time a little bit. Try not to rush. There we are. A lot of it is just moving everything out of the way. And you can tell, because you can have a bit of a feel, and you can tell by the when you put your foot down. What makes you say that? Don't don't jinx somebody like that, Elliot. She just said, just tell people out of bobbin. What made you say uh, that? <laughs> no. One show I did it and I ran out of bobbin like three times on the same show. Oh gosh. <laughs> Just so you know, we really don't have any graphics to put in. Have a good sift through the website because, um, I mean, everything, cutting mats, rulers, rotary cutters, needles, even the wooden meter stick is flying out today. There you go, there's one. 4 99 you wooden meter stick. <laughs> Free P&P as well. We're going to stick it to the desk, aren't we, the meter stick? It's a good one to stick to the desk, actually, to have in your yeah, phone room. Yeah, that, they have that in a lot of um, haberdasheries, don't they? They do. And then you'd give that a press. Oh, nice. Look at that. And there you go. Looks amazing. Look. Looks so gorgeous. And are. then, like you say, you could even plique that onto something or you could just stitch yeah. it into, like you've seen, so um, you put a another cushion. one there and you could even do it in a little children's room. Yeah. With uh, the names building on blocks. or building blocks, yeah. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Delphine, today has been amazing. Honestly, it's been the perfect day sharing oh, with you today. And congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm so excited for next week now. Yeah, bring it on. Next Christmas Thursday, Eve. we'll yeah. be there. And we will be ready for Christmas. <sighs> we will be. We will be. We'll ask you next week. You ready? Let's do this. We've bring got it. To be re We've got to be ready because <laughs> we're, we're keeping you till one o'clock next week, aren't we? Oh, We've got three I'm, shows with us. I know, but that means I'm trusting Nick to go to the butchers and the bakers <laughs> and make sure he gets the right order. So, <laughs> yeah. Thank you so, so no, much. Thank what you, another lovely. amazing week. We'll see you next week. I'll see you next Christmas week. Christmas Eve. Absolutely. Everybody's got to be there because Delphine's projects are phenomenal next week. Phenomenal. Um, don't forget, everybody who's messaging and going, hang on, what have I missed? Is it free PP? Yes, all day today. Don't worry, you can still use the code VickyPP throughout the whole of the day. Even when we go off air, don't worry, it's until midnight tonight. Um, we're about to move over to Yarn Lane, don't forget. We've got Helen from Woolly Chic who's going to be joining me. And oh my word, this is going to be amazing because we're doing baby knits. We've got so much coming up. Kat was just telling me all the lovely projects that Helen's bringing in for us. So if you can tune over to, to Yarn Lane, you'll still get free PMP over there. Vicky PP is the code that you need to use and it's the same account over on Yarn Lane. So if you were thinking of maybe trying it out or if you haven't yet watched our sister show, then stay exactly where you are. You don't need to move anywhere on the uh, the, te on the, uh, the TV, but it's just the website and Facebook that you'll need to change over. Now, tomorrow's show, you've got a brilliant show tomorrow, haven't you, Kat? Kat and Rebecca Reed are here tomorrow, and they've got Adjuster Forms and Dressmakings, Adjuster Forms on Split Pay, Brilliant in time for Christmas at eight o'clock. Nine o'clock, so different. Moon Pocket Maxi with Clive. I'm missing Clive. <gasps> oh, you're going to love him. If you've not met him already, he's so much fun. At 10 o'clock, um, I'm so pleased that you put this in the, gra in the uh, menu. Tim Holtz Fabrics launching tomorrow. I've seen them out in the, the office and they are absolutely amazing. You are in for a treat. They will all sell out before I get to see them next week. 11 o'clock, so different layer dress again with lovely Clive. And then the Britannia cover stitch with a brand new guest. We've got lovely George, who's gonna be joining us from Britannia with a cover stitch machine. I think he's on his way here now, isn't he? I think he's on his way here now. Um, anyway, thank you so much for your company today. Um, and I'm overwhelmed by all your messages. Honestly, I can't wait to go home and uh, show Kieran all of them as well. We'll read through them tonight. Thank you so much for keeping us company. Don't forget, the show doesn't end right now. We're moving over to Yarn Lane. The early bird special, that mini iron, is an absolute steal. Grab that whilst you can, especially with the free P&P. Delphine's going to be joining me next week for Christmas Eve show. Um, but Helen from Woolly Chic is going to be joining me over on Yarn Lane. So stay exactly where you are. I'll see you in just a couple of minutes.